everybody. Welcome to another round of Can't You Plays. And today I have with me Kate and Cynthia. Say hello. Hello. Hey, everyone. So we are getting into Arkham Horror, the card game, and we're going to be playing. We've skipped a few. I think I died at Path of Carcosa <laughs> when I played with, uh, with Pac-Man and Steven. But we're boosting ahead. This is the month of horror. We're going to get into some good stuff, and we're going to be playing the Innsmouth Conspiracy. We are starting from the beginning, and... We'll be playing it probably through the month of horror, seeing how far we get. So we'll see how that goes. Um, before we get on, I want to say thank you to my Patreons, YouTube subscribers. If you're neither just coming in and say hi, thank you and welcome as well. Um, as you know, as I've said 10 billion times already, I've turned on subscriber only chat because I want the playing experience for you as well as us to be enjoyable and not spam by the gross porn bots. So uh, welcome, welcome everyone. So let's see who we got. Uh, Yogi, the Pit of Despair, aka Nobody Leaves Alive. Billy, what's going on? What's going on? Pull up a chair. Uh, Link, Link Set, welcome, welcome, welcome. Steph, what's going on? And Tiny, what's up? What's up? All right, so uh, we've got a lot to go through because this scenario, this this expansion added a few things that we need to look at. And we're going to dive into that. Um, we're going to check it all out. But first, we're going to get some information about this game, what it is, where it is, how it ranks on BGG, and how things go from there. So let's hop over to Board Game Geek and check it out. Oh, what happened there? Why did somebody put a blindfold on me? That was weird. <laughs> did somebody do that? <laughs> That's weird. OK. So, I go horror at the card game. This was seriously came out in 2020. Uh, tabletop simulators being weird. I uh, got an 8.8 .8 on Board Game Geek, uh, the sixth deluxe expansion for Arkham Horror the card game. It says it's one to two player, best played two. I think that's BS. Uh, Arkham Horror itself is one to four player. So, um, and especially with the new release stuff, it truly is one to four player instead of you having to buy two deck, two uh, Arkham Horror boxes, which I did um back to get everything that you need for four player uh 60 to 120 minutes uh 14 plus the weight's about a 3.6 out of 5 which is great it's uh designed by mj newman and jeremy uh, zwern zwern uh the artists are the artists who do all the artwork for arkham horror and published by fantasy flight games it is available now i'm assuming this is the the latest one was the was the mountains one right the edge of the earth this is the one that came uh, yeah. out yeah, this is the one that came out before Edge of the Earth. Yeah, this um, is the one that came out before they changed the box format. Yeah, yeah. So so it will probably get a re-release way, 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 way down the line. Because I know they're coming out with the Scarlet Keys, which is, should be delivering to me Tuesday. Um, yeah, so like it's, it's tired of showing up, so yeah, yeah. So it's just, it shows up soon. I saw Janet got hers, um, so hopefully, hopefully, mine will show up, uh, as well. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, so also, I gotta do a plug for, for uh, a very wonderful individual. So let me go over to here and show you all this, and then we get started. This is not paid or anything, she was just awesome, and I told her I'd give her a huge amount of props. So if you look over here on the right, there's uh, Momo Monster Co. Uh, she's based out of Woodbridge, Canada. So wonderful Canadian and Andresia who's been on here. Uh, I was looking for Arkham Horror. At, well, I was perusing Etsy, as I should not be doing. <laughs> and I happened upon that she does a lot of um, mats for different games. Large mats, medium mats, medium large mats, that type of thing. And I came across her Arkham um, map with optional frame and not frame. So this is one, like, if you're building it out, it'll have, if you do no frame, it's just the mat itself as it builds itself up. But if you do frames, this is for, this is the player area that you can build out here, right? And then on top of this, there's also the one that sits below it. So it's like a dual layer mat, however you want to do it, right? Uh, there's one here that has, and we'll close that, that has, uh, if we do no frame, it's blank, there's nothing that's there, so you don't see anything. If you do story frame, if you want just kind of a smaller trimmed down experience, it'll move those things down to the top. And it's for a two player set that's on here. She's been pretty amazing. I talked with her a bunch about this and I ended up buying mats. So oh, I have those mats to play and when I do return to playing, because the thing that drew me in was, and I think I sent this to y'all a while back where I was like, 
hey, what do you think of this? <laughs> and I was like, this looks pretty darn cool. This looks amazing. It's a really great scene for solo play if you're just solo playing. It has on the left side, there's a picture of a really cool car and on the right side, your investigator stuff. And so I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm, uh, I, should I get this one? And she has different variants of this thing. So I was like, okay, well, hmm. You know, there's a different variants of the, or of, of the different Arkham styles that she has. And so I ended up ordering the bigger del deluxe one that is, that's the top bottom, and I'll have that on the stream later on. But she also has the like these extras and this kind of bling for your uh, application. Plus, they've got throw pillows if you want them. Anyway, I thought she was amazing. She was super kind and very nice to uh, get that for us. And I was like, hey, I'm going to put you on blast because you are, you are awesome. So... Check out her site. She has her own store, but she also has this Etsy store if you want to if you want to see it. And she is just great. So there you go. All right. So I'm going to switch this over and I'm going to get ready to shut my face and let Kate talk for a second. So did she make or commission those arts? Because they are pretty good. I don't know. I want to say uh, check it out. She's completely open. She responds really quick, too. So if you write her, um, if you go to her if you go to her site, and her site is momomonster.com, momomonsterco.com, so I'll just throw this in here and we can leave this place behind and go straight to her site. Um, if you go straight to her site, stop it, it'll, it'll be momomonsterco.com, and in there, this is her specific stuff, and she has all her different things that you can see on here. So if you go to Playmats, they're all here, all of them, so you can check them all out. Okay, so... Kate. Kate was wonderful enough to build these decks for me. I am not a deck builder. I am not a min-maxer. I suck at it. All I do is play board games. Um, but Kate was super kind, and she built these decks for us um, to check out and see. So I'm going to let her kind of talk a little bit about it. Uh, I pulled up Daniela Reyes right now, so tell us a little bit about Daniela. Oh, I get to talk. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, so Candy's deck, Daniela Reyes, was uh, originally built off of, we, we picked themes, so Kanji won the Guardian, and then uh, uh, his, his note was he wanted to beat the Team Bazooka, so <laughs> that kind of became the basis for the Daniela deck, so she's mostly here to, you know, fight monsters and protect everybody else and do stuff like that. So she's also got um, <coughs> some ways to do some clue gathering if that's needed. And also, Daniela is... Um, I added in um, several cards to her deck that lets her um, add bless tokens to the chaos bag and also potentially remove some of the curse ones because that's a new mechanic that the Innsmith introduced yeah i wanted to make sure we had at least one character that could do that <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna get into all of that all right and talk to us about dexter that's, that's gonna be a good idea as well. <laughs> and talk to us about dexter so cynthia is playing dexter and again she originally chose a mystic to play so dexter's kind of a little bit of a jack of all trades deck he can kind of do whatever we basically need him to do and especially since he can easily play different assets from hand during his turn so he can kind of rotate assets around just to make life easier so a good portion of his deck is just a bunch of assets and a lot of spell stuff because again mystic so cool. he, he wants to be doing with the magic stuff all the magic magic and finally, uh, Monterey Jack. So I'm playing Monterey Jack. He's technically a rogue, but he becomes more of an investigator as it goes along. So he's our main clue gatherer for the game. And he's kind of wimpy and doesn't like fighting. So his <laughs> other great skill is uh, running away. <laughs> which is kind of what he wants to evade. do. Evade! It's called evade! <laughs> <laughs> so he, he likes evading, and kind of a little special thing for him is if he's not at the same location that he 
started the round at, then he gets to draw some extra resources or draw some cards. So basically, he always wants to be moving around and finding new stuff. Basically. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you so much for creating these. These are going to be awesome as we die in Arkham Horror. But these are going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll see how they work. None of them have been play tested other than whatever Cynthia did yesterday. So. <laughs> All right. So. This is the campaign guide for the Innsmouth Conspiracy. Uh, no, he just runs, Andrew says. <laughs> so this is the campaign guide for Innsmouth Conspiracy, so we'll be going through a story. If you notice uh, right above, above above us, this is the campaign setup for the app, for the Arkham uh, DD app that's created that tracks the campaign, so we don't have to write a bunch of stuff down, and it's stored on the app. So we'll be using, we're just using the app to track stuff, tell us how to do stuff, and, and get stuff set up. However, we go through this guide and we'll be playing it up. It's in the deep. They thrive. It was a town of wide extent and dense construction, yet one with portentous dearth of visible life. He's really a person with the words here. All right, so we've got some additional rules that are going to be happening. There's a lot of additional rules. That's the reason why I came here, so we could talk about the stuff where we play. First off, there are keys. This expansion introduces key tokens that represent important objects or pieces of information that can be claimed and used during scenarios, plural. Key tokens have two sides. When face down, all seven keys have the same uh, universal key symbol, so they can be randomized without the investigators knowing which is which. When face up, each key is color coded with a unique color. There's a lot of keys. So face down, you see this unknown key symbol, and face up, this is what they're going to look like. If a scenario uses one or more keys, the setup of that scenario indicates how many are set aside and whether they should be face up or randomized face down. Keys can enter play via several different card effects, and they are usually placed on an enemy, location, or story asset. Keys can be acquired in any of the three ways. If a location with a key on it has no clues, an investigator may take control of each of the location's keys as a fast playability. That's an instant, right? So that doesn't require an action, if I remember correctly. And Correct. Kate, Kate will tell me if I get symbols wrong, so that's why. That's another reason she's amazing and glad she's here. Uh, <laughs> if an investigator causes an enemy with a key on it to leave play, that investigator must take control of each of the keys that were on that enemy. If it leaves play through, play through some other means, place its keys on its location. So they can never take the key out of the board. It's just basically if we kill them, the person who killed them has to take the key. If, they, um, if the enemy leaves the board, then the last location they were on drops the key. To which you go to the first one, where if you clear the key, if it has no clues on it, you get it. Some card effects may allow an investigator to take control of keys in other ways. When an investigator takes control of a key, they flip it face up. If it is face down and places it ugh, on their investigator card. If an investigator who controls one or more keys is eliminated, place each of their keys on their location. Okay, so they're once again not lost, they're just dropped. Uh, I cannot remember the symbol of the arrow. Oh, it's an action. As an action ability, an investigator may give any number of their keys to another investigator at the same location. Okay, so we can hand them off at least. And keys have no inherent game effect. However, some card effects may change depending on which keys an investigator controls. Additionally, keys may sometimes be required in order to progress during a scenario. So that's a new thing where we get these keys that we have to find and we, get, we have to use them for something we don't know what. So we will figure that out as we go. I don't think any of us have played Innsmouth, right? Uh, nope. All right, so we'll figure that out. And we have the rules if we need to go to it. They have also this new effect called Flood Tokens. Yay! Throughout this campaign, scenario <laughs> card effects can flood locations. Each location has one or of three different flood levels. It is either unflooded, partially flooded, or fully flooded. A location's flood level can be tracked using the double-sided flood tokens included in this deluxe box. Awesome. A location's flood level has no inherent game effect, lies. However, some card effects may change or become stronger while you are at a flooded location, particularly if that location is fully flooded. So a, a location with no flood token 
is unflooded, duh. A location becomes partially flooded, place a flood token on it with the partially flooded side face up to designate this. If a location becomes fully flooded, place a flood lo token on it with the fully flooded side face up. Or if it is already partially flooded, flip it to fully flooded. Okay. If a location's flood level is increased, keyword, it changes from unflooded to partially flooded or from partially flooded to fully flooded. So, <laughs> oh crap, I was in another tab. So, there's a keyword here come that, that is increase. So, if we say increase, then it, it basically rises, right? Uh, a fully flooded location cannot... Ha cannot have its flood level increase, which is great, which means flood doesn't spread, and that makes me happy. Um, if a location is decreased... Don't, Angie, don't, don't say that. Oh, that, God. That could yeah. always change. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, a, if a location's flood level is decreased, another keyword, so increase, decrease, in flood level, it changes from fully flooded to partially, from partially to unflooded, and then remove the token if a location becomes unflooded. Uh, for the purpose of card effects, both partially flooded locations and fully flooded locations are considered to be flooded. Very important because I'm sure there are stupid cards in the deck that says if your location's flooded, partially and fully are considered flooded. All right, so Kate also talked about bless and curse tokens when she was talking about building out the decks. This get, the Innsmouth introduces Bless and Curse tokens. This expansion introduces new, uh, two new kinds of Chaos tokens, Bless tokens and Curse tokens. By default, the Chaos bag does not contain any Bless or Curse tokens, so now we're going by symbols. However, certain card effects can add these tokens or remove them from the Chaos bag. <clears throat> Bless tokens uh, revealed during a skill test have the following effect, plus two. Reveal another, to another token. Instead of returning this token to the Chaos Bag, return it to the token pool. I, I, don't, I don't like the, the rolling. I don't like the rolling effect. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, you, you don't have to add them, per se, but uh, they are going to get added from the game. That's, that's going to be a thing. You, you know that, right? <laughs> no more than 10 total Bless tokens can be included in the Chaos Bag or sealed on cards in play at any given time. There's some clues coming out here, right? There's some really cool clues. So, bless tokens, you reveal them, they give you plus two, and then you, draw an, then you draw another token. That other token could be horrible. It could be minus two, making your bless completely negated. Um, but you can't have more than 10 tokens on a, in the bag, or sealed on cards in play at any given time. Let's talk about curse tokens. Curse tokens revealed during a skill test is a minus two, and then reveal another token. <laughs> Instead of returning this to the bag, return it to the token pool. Uh, so think of it like blesses and curses from if you've ever watched this play Gloomhaven Friday. Uh, no, no more that, except for this has a rolling effect. No more than 10 uh, curse tokens can be included in the chaos bag like that isn't enough uh, or sealed on cards at any given time. All right. And then we've got uh, blesser curse tokens revealed outside of a skill test have no effect on their own unless otherwise specified by a card effect. So if we're not doing a skill test and we draw a bless or curse token, it has no effect unless indicated by the card effect. Very important to keep in mind. We got a new thing, too, and then we can start playing this game. It's called Seal, which is what they're saying you can't seal on a card. As an additional cost for a card with the Seal keyword to enter play, its controller must search the Chaos Bag, okay, so you get to look for it, for the specified Chaos token and place it on top of the card, thereby sealing the token. If they're... Getting it out of the bag. That's yeah, good. yeah. yeah. If there is a choice of which token to seal, the card's controller chooses. We actually get a choice in Arkham Horror. <laughs> if the specified token is if the specified token is not in the chaos bag, the card cannot enter play. Uh, you can Edgar roll into Bless and Curse, but if you draw Bless in Gloomhaven, that's it. In this one, in in Arkham Horror, if you draw Bless, you draw another token. That's the difference. 
Uh, a sealed chaos token is not considered to be in the chaos bag and therefore cannot be revealed from the chaos bag as part of a skill test or ability. When a chaos token is released, new keyword, so they're sealed and there's released, it is returned to the chaos bag and is no longer considered sealed. If a card with one or more chaos tokens sealed on it leaves play for any reason, any chaos tokens sealed on it are immediately released. So when it's released, it's returned to the chaos bag and no longer considered sealed. Yikes. Okay, that scares me. Uh, some cards with or without the seal keyword may also have abilities that seal one or more chaos tokens as part of their effect. This is done following the same process as above, searching the chaos bag for a specific token, removing it from the chaos bag, and placing it on the card. If the specified token is not in the chaos bag, the effect fails. Okay. Hey, Mike. Hey, Janet. Hey, Edgar. Hey, Jess. Hey, Yogi. <laughs> hey, G-Golly. How's it going? How's it going? Sorry, I was doing reading, so... Okay. So, if we look at our lovely app above us, you see the three investigators there, so we'll go ahead and continue. And it says, choose our difficulty, right? So we're going with standard, which is what you see on the right now. Uh, choose, the, choose your investigators, we have them. Each player assembles their decks, we have them, right? We showed them already. We're choosing our difficulty. Um, so our difficulty, I want to experience a story, I want a challenge, I want a true nightmare, I want Arkham Horror. Who the hell would pick that? <laughs> Minus eight, <laughs> whatever. So we're going standard. <laughs> We're on standard in our play, and as you can see up here, that adds what shows in the standard, which is a plus one. Uh, they all line up with what's there. Yep, it all lines up. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. Uh, this one talks about the keys, which I already read, the flood tokens, which I already read, and then it said Pro proceed to the pit of despair. Oh, bless you. All right, so start, start it up. Uh, who's going to be our lead investigator? Who's going to do it? As I already started with mental trauma, I say not it. <laughs> so, so Kate, sweet. So Kate's going to do it. Awesome. Awesome. Kate's our, Kate's our lead investigator. Gotcha. Done and done. All right. Uh, all righty. <laughs> all right. So, so uh, we'll get the scenario set up in a second, but I put this up so you can all read it. So it says... Your eyes flood. I really wish this app had a... Someone told me this app had the ability to do, like, reading, like, voice actor work, but I don't know how to do it. So you're going to hear my voice instead. Scenario one, the pit of despair. Your eyes full are open with the languor of one who has slept for days on end. Your, sense, your senses are in no hurry to return. You blink and struggle to see through the inky black surrounding you. Every inch of, your, of you aches with dull, throbbing pain. Your skin is cold and numb, and your clothes are waterlogged. Your mind swims with half-articulated thoughts and tangled memories. You have no idea where you are or how you got there here. You snap to attention, heart racing in your chest. You lie on a jagged stone floor in a shallow pool of dark, ice-cold water. Knowing panic will only make the situation worse, you take a series of deep, meditative breaths. You try to remember something, anything, that might allow you to retrace your steps, but your mind is blank. You remember who you are, but nothing whatsoever from the recent past. You steady yourself and examine your surroundings. The chamber appears to be a natural cave formation. Kelp dangles from the ceiling. The stone walls and floors are wet and slimy. A rhythmic drip, drip, drip echoes throughout the otherwise silent cave. This cavern has been underwater, and not too long ago. A result of the tide, perhaps? You swallow your fear like a lump of cold iron. If it is low tide now, a cold shudder ripples up your spine. You examine the ceiling and are surprised to see a slab of metal set into the rough stone overhead. Its polished surface is alien to the rest of the natural cavern. You call out for help, hoping somebody can hear. Your dread deepens at the reply, an awful croaking and gurgling that permeates the tunnels. A sound no human can make. Good lord. So, <laughs> uh, sweet, sweet. So, um, with the app, the TTS is going to do all this setup for us, but we'll walk through it as we set up. So, let me switch over to that, and then we'll talk about the setup. All right, and we can 
So as it goes through this setup, and we can hide this for a second too. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. All right. So we'll do our setup. So it says Insmith help with setup. Setup. All right. Look at that. The app set it up for us. Sweet. <laughs> so basically, the setup is uh, gather all cards from the following encounter sets. The Pit of Despair, Creatures of the Deep, Flood, Caverns, Rising Tide, Shattered Memories, Agents of Cthulhu, and Rats. Are we dealing with Cthulhu now? These sets are indicated by their following symbols. Um, let's see. I'll put these back up so you can see. Uh, note, the encounter set icon for each title tunnel location appears only on the location's revealed side. See title tunnels on the following page for more information. Yay! Place each key as follows. Set the blue key and green key aside face up. Um, set the red, yellow, and purple key aside face down. Shuffle them so you do not know which is which. Remove the black and white keys from the game. They are not used in this scenario. Okay, I'm assuming the app already took care of that. Uh, where would the keys be? Those are the flooded tokens. I'm like, where even are the keys? Yeah, there's there's a... too many things. There's so the many board. things on the board. There's a um, face down keys. Be sure to shuffle this bag next to the encounter deck. Next to the encounter deck? Ah, thank you. Uh, yep, there are three keys in there face down. Those are there to be be sure to shuffle the bag. So let's shuffle it. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. So those are the three keys that need to be face down. Um, there should be some keys face up, right? Um, set the blue, oh, the blue and green key aside face up. So they're somewhere on the board. I'll let y'all find them. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, the black and white keys have been removed. Put the unfamiliar chamber location into play. Each investigator um, begins in the unfamiliar chamber. The keys are in that chest with the set aside cards. Okay, Blue cool. Thank you, thank you. So we're the we're in the unflooded chamber, which is this guy. Uh, three branching tunnels open before you, each swathed in darkness. A foul odor or odor like that of the king fish permeates the tunnels. Uh, next to them we have tidal tunnel. Title tunnel and title tunnel. So find the encounter deck. <laughs> do you do you do what? Have we shuffled the encounter? No, nah, go for it. Go for it. Uh each find each of the following locations and set them aside out of play, which is in the, the set aside box, which is the idle chamber altered to Dagon and sealed exit. Okay, so this is Dagon's thing. Alright. Each of these location is is each of these locations is on the reverse side of the title tunnel location. Okay, shuffle the remainder of the title tunnel locations and randomly put three of them in the play below to the left and to the right of the unfamiliar chamber. Unrevealed side face up. See location placement on the following page. Set the rest of the title tunnel locations aside out of play. Set each of the following cards aside out of play. A lot of things. The amalgam enemy, both copies of the blind sense treachery and all three copies of the From the Depths, Depths Treachery. Add the Flood tokens to the token pool, shuffle the remainder of the encounter decks to build the encounter deck. You are now ready to begin. No, we're not, because they want to talk to us about title tunnels. Locations with, un <laughs> <laughs> locations with unrevealed... Uh, let me get this, because I know y'all want to read along. And we'll go back to this, so y'all can see what I'm looking at. So, locations with unrevealed title tunnel sides exist in multiple encounter sets. For example, in this scenario, both the Flooded Caverns encounter set and the Pit of Despair encounter sets contain unrevealed title tunnel locations. Because these locations can come in from multiple different encounter sets, they have no encounter set icon on their unrevealed side. To see which encounter set a title tunnel location belongs to, check its revealed side, and then you will see it there. Uh, the Depths. Some cards in this scenario refer to an area called The Depths. The Depths is an out-of-play area next to the Act and Agenda deck that the Amalgam enemy can enter and leave via card effects. While the Amalgam is in The Depths, it is out of play and cannot be affected by player cards or investigator actions. 
When the amalgam moves from play to the depths, remove all tokens from it except for its key tokens. So that means damage on it too. Key tokens are not removed from the amalgam when it enters the depths unless it was defeated by an investigator, in which case that investigator takes control of each of its keys. In this scenario, keys represents the following. Blue, and we'll, we'll get to this. We have this as a reference. Blue, an idol of a malformed aquatic creature. Green, an emerald key with four prongs. Red, a, a piece of amber in the shape of a fish's heart that whispers something alien to you when you hold it. Yeah, you throw that away. Yellow, a calcified piece of chitin in the shape of a tentacle. And purple, a jagged key of twisted marble and onyx. Okay, then it talks about location adjacency. During the scenario, locations are arranged in a set pattern with new locations from the title tunnel deck emerging below to the left or to the right of existing locations. Note, the title tunnel deck does not exist at the beginning of the scenario. You will be instructed when and how to create it at a later time during the scenario. During the scenario, adjacent locations are considered to be connected to one another. A location that is put into play below or to the left or right of another location should be set next to that location in the indicated position with no other locations between them. A location that is next to another location in this manner is considered adjacent. Locations are only adjacent orthogonally, left, right, above, or below. They are not adjacent diagonally. So up, down, left, right. Uh, you cannot put a location into play where an existing location already is. If you're instructed to place a new location from the title tunnel deck in a spot that is already occupied by an existing location, the new location does not enter play. Okay. Good lord. Rules upon rules. It says do not reload until instructed. Okay, so we'll stop there. <laughs> Just gonna say you chose the scenario. I did, I did, I did. Uh, so this thing says this is the only thing we read last, so we won't read what's below it. Throughout the Insmith Conspiracy campaign, you will occasionally be instructed to read flashback sequences, such as the ones below and on the next page. Each flashback contains a piece of your fractured memories. I think this is kind of cool, though. If you glimpse enough of those these memories, perhaps you can cobble together a greater understanding of the events that have led you to this point. Some flashbacks might also be additional benefits in the form of additional experience or the removal of harmful symbols from the chaos bag. Start playing the scenario. All right. We are ready. Let's go ahead. Do they mean it this time? <laughs> we might start playing the scenario. We might start playing the scenario. Okay, so we all start here. I'm assuming we get to flip this card over. Yeah. So, boom. So it says, unfamiliar chamber, forced. After unfamiliar chamber is, re is revealed, randomly choose one of the set-aside face-down keys and place it on unfamiliar chamber without looking at it. Okay, so let's grab the keys out of here. Oh, uh, out of the, not, not the blue and the green. It's right. one of the ones in the back. Oh, in the back, in the back, in the back, thank you. All right, so we'll grab one out of here. It's face-down. I shuffled it. Boop, there it is. Okay. All right. Well, lead investigator, we got to draw our hands up, right? So yep. sh shuffle our decks and we draw. It's been so long. <laughs> five cards? Five cards. Five cards. And the mulligan rule does apply. So for me, I've got scene of the crime. Play only as your first action. Discover one clue at your location. Two clues instead if there is an enemy at your location. Oh, cool. And it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh, oh, I get ooh, a basic weakness. Uh, I, I get I get to trash that. Well, no, it goes back in the deck, I think. But we get to draw another card instead. You don't have to do your weakness on the start. I got a machete. Uh, emergency cash. I want to be your sledgehammer. And that and I got flesh ward. Hmm. I gotta think about Splash Ward. I might get that too. What do you have, Cynthia? So I did draw <gasps> two weaknesses. So I <laughs> Both of them? <laughs> yeah, I should take them out and replace them. <laughs> um, I've got Uncage the Soul, um, Shriveling, Holy Rosary, 
obfuscation and right of seeking. Actually, not a hideous opening hand. Yeah, it's pretty decent. All right, what do you got, Kate? So I have burglary, unexpected courage, eavesdrop, Leo De Luca, and lockpicks. How do y'all always luck out with Leo? <laughs> when I play the game, I can't find that guy for nothing, but no, Mel gets it on every ball. <laughs> on every ball. All right, so. All right, so um, we can do a mulligan if we want. Um, Sledgehammer ain't bad to put out. Hmm. And the machete, you get plus one fight for this attack. If the attacked enemy is the only enemy engaged with you, this attack deals plus one damage. I want the machete or the sledgehammer. <laughs> so the sledgehammer is two-handed. So keep that in mind. Oh, yes, at the bottom I see, I see. So I can't carry anything else. Yeah, but it hits so well. A plus two. That's two actions to do a plus two on a fight. One action. Uh, I get a minus one to fight, but I add a plus one to damage on it. So it's kind of unwieldy swinging around. This one gives me a plus one to fight, the machete. Um, but, and if it's the only enemy engaged with me, I do plus one damage to it. So... Ooh, then there's Flesh Ward. When you're dealt damage and or horror from this enemy, exhaust Flesh Ward and spend one charge, cancel one damage or horror just dealt from that attack. I think I'm going to keep everything. I don't think I'm going to mulligan. I think I'm going to mulligan up obfuscation in hopes that I get right. an item that's not arcane. Okay, grab it. Let's see what you get. Ooh. An event, Storm of Spells. That's okay. Yeah, that one's pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Kate? Stuff. What about you, Kate? You ditching stuff? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm back in there. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just turn it over, put it back on top of your deck, and then shuffle. Shuffle, yeah. Thank so, you. I got, yeah, and then just drop it back on so there. So, I'm, I'm definitely getting rid of the eavesdrop. Okay. And... I'm considering the unexpected courage. Okay. Sure. Hey, yeah. Pickle, what's going on? Yeah. You gonna ditch it? Okay, what do you got? Yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Sneak attack and lone wolf. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm. I'm not. That's, I'm good with that. That gets the money, money okay. going early. And we all got our starting five resources. Um, Cynthia did take a horror because of her arcane research uh, permanent when you purchase arcane research, so for one mental trauma. And, but after each scenario of the campaign, reduce the experience cost of the first spell card you upgrade by one. Which is cool. All right. Well... Let, let it begin. Kate, you're up. <laughs> lead, our lead investigator. All right. Okay, to pick up the keys again, do they have to be no clues on the location? No or clues. Uh, let's, let's go back and take a look. It says, um, for keys, uh, the rules are if a location with a key on it has no clues, an investigator may take control of the location keys as a free action. Yep, no clues. The only way to get it. All right. <clears throat> so... Let me think. And these are our adjacent locations for anybody watching. So those are adjacent places for us to move to. All right. Well, I think I'm going to play one to get Lone Wolf started. Okay. Limit one per investigator. Uh, as a reaction, when your turn begins, if there are no other investigators to your location, gain a resource. Okay. So I think we'll do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kenji, oh, we need to read. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hey, hey, I'm pumped. All right, I'm pumped. All right, yep, yep, Janet, I'm on it. Janet always keeps me honest. I love Janet. Okay, so Agenda 1, Awakening. 
a salmon lays dead on the ground nearby, its scaly flesh just starting to rot. You can tell from the kelp and the dripping wet walls that this cavern was underwater not too long ago. How much time do you have, do you have before high tide? Forced. When your turn begins, oh god, if you are at a fully flooded location, you struggle for air. When your turn ends, if you do not enter an unflooded or partially flooded location uh, during your turn, take five direct damage. And there is and there is seven um, seven uh, progress on this for it to I say progress because I've been playing Lord of the Rings with Kate uh, on it before <laughs> it before it moves forward. Our act. What do we have to do? The pit. You have awakened in a waterlogged cavern. Your mind robbed of its memories, and you are not alone. Whatever else lives in this cavern, it can't possibly be friendly. You have to get out of this and back to civilization. Uh, you need to put three success. Uh, God, what are they called? It's been forever. Clues. Three clues. Three clues. Three clues per investigator. So that means nine clues for all of us. So nine clues on here to progress. Um, nine clues in our in our yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Pit of Despair. So the Pit of Despair, if we draw, everything is terrible. Everything. Minus one, skulls are minus one unless you're in a fully, partially flooded, then it's minus two. It's fully flooded, it's minus three. Um, the Hood, the Shroud, minus two. If you fail and your location's flooded, you take damage. The weird looking, is that a heart? I don't know. Minus two. If you fail and, you're con and you control a key, take a horror. And then the other weird symbol that looks like lungs, minus three, if you fail and the amalgam is in the depths, put it in play, engage with you. Oh. Cool, 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 cool. All right, thank you, Janet. All right, so let's do it. What you doing? So that's action number one. That's action one. And then, because I really do want to get my money generation going so I can hopefully get Leo out next turn. So let's move somewhere and hope this doesn't go badly. <laughs> How could it? It's Arkham Horror. It's this fuzzy game. All right, <laughs> let's go left. <laughs> All right, let's see what we find. Flip, flip. Fish Graveyard. Forced. After you end your turn at Fish Graveyard, if you do not control a key, you take a horror. As, really? as a fast play, if there are no clues on Fish Graveyard and you control the red key... Inside a pile of half-rotten fish guts, you find a strange figurine. The red key fits into perfectly. Read flashback three on the campaign guide. <clears throat> well, that's, that's not really how I want to start this. But... That's action number two. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, well, let's just stay here and work on getting clues that we don't have to stick around too long. So let's do action three as a clue, as an investigate. Okay, so you it takes you two. You have to beat two uh, to get it. I'm at a four. You're at a four. Yep. All right. Let's do here it. Here we go. Click it. The skull. The oh. skull says minus one. Minus two instead right. if your location is partially flooded. So the location is not partially flooded. So minus one, you did get it. We are good. Yep. So you just click the cl click All this right. again and it'll go away. Yep. So that is one clue off. So you got that. Sweet. All right. And now I will take one horror. Yep. <laughs> Negative one horror. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, so... And then I am done. And since we're going in clockwise order... Hey, Cynthia! But one thing is, because it's the end of my turn and I am one location away from where I started, I get a resource or I get to draw a card and I'm going to take that resource. Yeah. Cool. Uh, is that... Oh, at the end of... Okay, so that's Wayfarer. All right, so at the end of your turn, if you started this, this round one location away from your current location... Yep, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's take a look at Drake's one, too. Drake has a fast play one. Uh, during your turn, discard an asset you control. Play an asset with a different title from your hand, reducing its cost by one. And then, then yellow's one is a reaction. After an enemy attacks you, accept an attack of opportunity you provoked. 
even if that attack was cancelled, either deal one damage to that enemy or automatically evade it. Oh, I love that so much. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> you said you wanted to be Team Bazooka. I made Thank you Team you. Bazooka. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Cynthia, what okay. you doing? So, I, because we need to investigate, I'm mm. going to play Uncaged Soul as an event for free. Okay. Which lets me play a spell. I don't know why that just dropped down there. I just want to put it somewhere. I'll keep it there. You uh, just card so, over on your right side. Oh, thank you. I don't there know. You discard it. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to play that, which lets me play a spell from my hand. Um, reduce the cost by three. So I'm going to play Right of Seeking right. for one resource. How do I get rid of that resource? Uh, uh, right click, right click. Right click. Thank you. Um, and then, so that was one action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay two resources to put Holy Rosary in play, um, which increases my mind by one. Okay, so that's action one. number two. And then for my third action, I'm going to investigate. All right. Are you using the Rite of Seeking or no? Um, yes, because my okay. only. Oh, yeah, so what do I do of, here? I got it. I got you covered. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. One comes so off. That's gonna, so I've got so you're at six to three. Yep. Draw a card. So do I just click yep. one? Just, yep. Yep, you just click. Ooh! Minus Ugh. three. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Thank you, right of seeking. <laughs> So oh, if you was... if you succeed, discover one additional clue at this location. Yeah. Oh, yep. So that's there you go. Clue. Nice. That's slightly easier, Kenji. Amazing. Okay. All right. So um, that's your three. That is, yep. Thank you very much. All right. So my turn. My turn. <sighs> really want to put the sledgehammer out. I really do. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put the sledgehammer out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I should pick up that clue. I really should. Um, oh, I can't pick up that clue. I suck at it. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna let's let's get this going. I'm dropping the sledgehammer. Ba Boom! It's two handed. Uh, item tool, weapon, melee, fight. You get, uh, so as a regular action, I'll minus one to my fight, but I deal plus one damage. At, or, as spending two actions, I can heft this bad boy, and you get plus two to fight and deal plus two damage for this attack. That costs three. That's one action. Um, yeah, I got, I got like one on my search. I'm, gonna, I'm not a searcher. Yeah, uh, you, you, you... You can kill enemies and do some searching. There, there are some searching cards in your deck. Not, <laughs> not a lot, but I mean, you you search alternatively. <laughs> we'll, we'll go yeah. that way. My thing is, I wonder if I should play this event. I know it would give me two clues if I'm involved. If I'm, you know, engaged with an enemy, which is really cool. This would come in a pinch, or should I just clear this right now? It's like you can. You can wait for. That's like, what I was. Are yeah. probably going to be some other higher value yeah. investigation places. That's fair. That's fair. It's like between me and Cynthia, hopefully we'll have these cleared off. Okay, so two, I'll do emergency cash for free. And then three, I'll put down flesh ward. Okay, leave me with two. So that's my three actions. All right. So we yeah. are done. <laughs> So we are done. <laughs> so the next phase is the uh, round sequence. So that was the investigator phase. Now the enemy phase. Enemies with the hunter keyword moves towards nearest investigator. Engage enemies attack. There's no enemy. So we do upkeep phase. Uh, reset actions. Flip mini cards back over. Thank you. Then ready all exhausted cards. Each investigator draws one card and gains a resource. I got keep the faith. Ooh, at ooh, fast play during any uh fast play window, add four blessed tokens to the chaos bag. I like that. You got obfuscation. Yep. 
and you, you, you got oh both of you got obfuscation okay oh we both got <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right um then each investigator checks your hand size to scour down to eight um the sledgehammer may go to for kill my go to for killing that's right billy all right then we go to the uh the mythos phase so we place one doom boop then um we have advance agenda if doom threshold is satisfied each investigator draws the top item of the encounter deck so see right here you just click that yeah. wrong wrong game yogi <laughs> <laughs> travel phase so i got lurking deep one so but his prey is the person with the lowest runaway mine is two yours is two okay. yours is five so uh... it's me it's me it's me i want him i want him he's mine uh, after lurking <laughs> After uh, lurking deep one engages you, take one damage. Uh, I can do that. I don't think I need to spend flesh ward on that. Nah, I'll take it. Because my health is at eight. I'm okay. All right. Uh, ooh. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, it's Cynthia. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So it's in your threat area. Know. So it's here. Yeah. And that's not oh, idiot for me. Uh, this you is not me. <laughs> yeah, you have to test. You have to test willpower, so you get a minus one and minus one sanity. So does she lose another? Should she take another horror? Is that it's, it? Yeah, no, technically it take a. It, it redu. Well, technically take it for now, but then. Okay. I then when I get rid of that, add it back. Away, it goes away. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you need to test three willpower. Are you contributing anything to that's, your test? That's an action. So that's she an action. Oh, gotcha, action. gotcha. Thank you, thank you. All right. So then you got undertow. Uh, Revelation. If your location yeah. is unflooded, which it is, undertow gains surge. <laughs> well, I get to draw another one after this. <laughs> yeah. So, so it says lovely. otherwise. Then it says force after you move. Take two damage and two horror, and then discard Undertow. Uh, as fast play, discard one card from your hand, make a strength test or a dex uh, evade test of three to fight the pull of the ties. If you succeed, you discard it. So yeah, you don't have to do that because you just yeah, gain surge. It's, yeah, it just gains surge. Yeah. So because the location's unflooded, so otherwise... Yeah, so hit that gone, discard button. So... Get rid of it. Yep. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and do that surge. Uh, Yogi's saying something in chat about something? Uh, does my ability activate? After an enemy attacks you, even if that attack was cancelled, either deal one damage to the enemy or automatically evade. Uh... I'll punch him for one, why not? I don't hey. think he attacked, so no, I don't think, no, he... I don't think it... No, I don't think you do. Oh, yeah, he, he didn't just... attack, he didn't yeah. attack, he just engaged me, Yogi, it didn't attack. Uh, or Edgar, sorry. Right. Edgar. Yogi's right. All right, go ahead. All right, new encounter card. Deep One Assault. Revelation. Oh. Disengage from each Deep One enemy at your location. Each Deep One enemy at your location and each connecting location. Uh-oh. <laughs> engages you. If no enemies engage you from this effect, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Deep One. I have one engaged with me. So does that mean... Uh. So that means it's coming to you, right? Yeah, that means it's coming to me. I'll be there in a second. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> spawn and engage with you and shuffle and counter deck. Okay, so you can discard that. Alrighty. When we engage you. Uh, let me pull this. Oh yeah, up. it does engage me, so I take a damage. So. Wow, it's just hitting everybody. All right, so... so yeah. Kenzie, you've got a weird popping sound going on with your microphone. Uh, you're hearing popping? Yeah. My mic's not showing anything. Uh, maybe it's just me. Sorry. Yeah, I was checking my... I'm checking my audio to see if it's clicking up anywhere, and it's not. Okay, might just be me. Is any well? Let's check. Is anyone in chat? Are y'all hearing a popping noise or anything? Are the audio being off at all? Yeah, Yogi said he doesn't hear any popping at all either. It's just me then. Thanks, Yogi. <laughs> it's the voices in your head. Say no to them. Say no to them. <laughs> all right. So, all right. What you gonna do? How's that me? No, it's uh, it's Kate's turn. 
Uh, okay. Well, you know, I I wouldn't mind if uh, one of you, if you guys go first. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm coming. Well, I'm just the <laughs> other thing I'm thinking, because my location, um, if you end your turn here and you don't control a key, you take a horror. So what if Cynthia goes first and clears off that last? Well, tries to get rid of her card and then clears off that clue. Then, Kanji, you could take control of that key. She yeah. would take control of the key. Does she yeah. take control of it? As a fast play, she can, it says, right? Um, if a location with oh. a key on it has no, no clues. Two. And then, oh, you may. It says may on it. Yep, you're right. Yeah. An investigator so, may. Yeah, then that I would way leave it you for you because then you could move. Okay. Yeah, yeah, then that way you don't take any horror if you end up stuck at this location. Sounds good. Sounds good. And I could get both of those clues off that location, too. Yeah, that's okay. a good point. So, good. all right, so, so Cynthia, you go first, then. Get that clue. Um, so what am I on? I'm on 6-5, well, right? Try, yeah, try and get rid of your... Uh... Yeah, no, that's what I was checking. I'm on 5 mines. Yep. I have willpower. Uh, you need to pass yeah. a three. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Fine. Hey, there it is. Yay. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so that gets so discard it. Yeah. So that's one. And that goes there. We go. Happiness. And then I'm going to investigate using right of seeking. Yeah, I gotcha. So I'm at six. All right. What does that do? Uh, so what does that that's... do? Um, well, before we look at that, your ability does some. If you succeed, discover one. If a symbol is revealed during this test, after the test resolves, lose all remaining actions and immediately end your turn. Oh, so, uh, we... You got a yeah, minus that's two. That's okay. You got a minus two. Did you pass? Yes, I passed. Okay, so you don't take a horror. So you get that clue. Get that clue. And your actions are done. Um, yes, because, yeah. Okay, so then oh, that's that's not horrible. Yeah, so my yeah. turn for that's free. That's what I wanted to do. So yeah, which is great. For my turn, uh, for free, I will pick this. I'll pick up this. Uh, I got the red key. Ooh. Oh, and it's the red key. And that's it is. The one you need. Yeah, yeah. So that was free. So my first action is to move in here. Uh, I can't swing away at it while it's on you, or else I could hit you. I think. Right. So I have to engage it. Oh. Is that for you do, but I mean, what's what's your attack value? Five. Uh, my attack value is five. If I use a regular fight with the sledgehammer, it's going to be four. If I use two actions, it's going to be seven. And it's it a, and I would oh. insta kill it, and I would insta kill just, it. Just just go for it. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do two actions. Ah. Uh, dang it's a it's an event. You can't. Yeah, that's yeah, and yeah, it has yeah. to be as your first action. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, swing away. So I'm swinging away with with my other two actions for seven, seven on what's him, two, seven on two. two. A boom! Hey, he's dead. <laughs> plus one. <laughs> there you go. So he takes two dam. Uh, actually, plus two, three damage. Right. He's very dead. Yeah. So discard that guy. All right. And that ends me. And right. yep, at the end oh, of your turn, I have a key, so I will take no horror, and I will get the flashback on my turn. So go for it. Yeah. Well, if there are no clues here, so first I have to do that. So do you want to? I, that's the thing. It's like I was saying. Oh, I have to be engaged with someone to be able to use my ability. Never mind. Go ahead. So at the beginning of your next turn, you can do the fast action for the okay. flashback. All right. All right. So first action is I get a reaction from Lone. Oh, I don't. Cause they're... So I don't get that, sadly. All right. Well, yeah, let's put Leo into play because that's something I want to do. Get your free action. <laughs> So it's basically you have three actions now <laughs> instead of two. Yeah, and then we will just do investigate. So I am at four against two. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So two. There we go. Yep, that'll work. Two. So that's good. All right. Get so that clue. We'll one of those. Mm -hmm. And we will do it again. Oh, we're at five. We're at five clues. Five out of the nine we need. And minus one. We're good. Sweet. So that's all the clues off of here. Sweet. That's six. Six out of so, nine. And then for my next action, I'm going to move yeah. here. Yeah, sadly, you don't get that ability, the, the thing of getting it. Well, I, yeah, well, once I, once we have more locations, I'll be able to spread out more, but at least this way I can still. Yeah, yeah. and we're doing pretty, action. we're doing pretty good. We got six out of nine, so three more. All right. All right, so that's my last thing, so okay. I will also grab another resource in this case. How can that's you? That's the end of my turn. At the end of my turn. Oh, if one I location away from where you started. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, cool. So then we go to the enemy phase. There are no enemies out. They have been sledgehammered. Um, <laughs> then we do upkeep. So reset, flip all those back over. Then uh, ready all exhausted cards. Each investigator draws one card and gains one. So you can, there's actually an upkeep button <laughs> for, for y'all to click if you want to. Which will give you the resource and the card. Ooh, look, another Keep the Faith. Oh, crap. Monterey Jack is bay. <laughs> 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 uh, that's okay. That's okay. Did you gain your resource, um, uh, Cynthia? I did. Okay, cool. I and did. you got your card, so you got a weakness. A cult straps. Yeah. A cult straps cannot, oh. be, cannot, be played by, cannot be played using a play action. While a cult straps is in your hand, your willpower, you get minus two. While Cold Straps is in play, your willpower goes to minus one. Oh. Uh, so how do you play it? With his ability. There. Yeah. Oh, with his ability. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. You gotta discard it to put it down. But it's stuck with you. Ew. All yeah, right. I can discard it the next turn to re using his ability. Oh, gotcha. It's like a yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's just one turn of inconvenience. Yeah. All right. So, and Kate, you got cheap, cheap shot. Uh, fight. Add yeah. your add your evade value to your skill value for this attack. If you succeed by two or more, automatically evade the attacked enemy. Evade. So you don't run. You evade. And then I run. <laughs> I run. <laughs> so uh, each investigator check your hand size, which we are all fine. And then uh, we go to, we add a doom. Doom! Uh, advance agenda if needed to. Draw an encounter. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm getting all sorts of fun. So uh, the lowest, who has the lowest fight? Probably me. Uh, I'm at two. Oh, Kate. Hey, you've got a friend coming. Oh, no. another friend coming. <laughs> you Prey is the lowest uh, fight. Of course uh, it is. After a young, young deep one engages you, take one horror. Oh, this is not a good turn for me. <laughs> then, uh, oh, oh no, oh no, another one. There, there's more. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm taking that. Actually, I'm taking that on Leo. Okay, then another one comes I'm in. To... <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> then another one comes in. You take that. <sighs> And finally, you get Macabre Memento. Test three will. If you reveal a shroud token during this test, you automatically fail. If you fail, you take two more horror. Okay, I, I can't actually pass this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, what's your will? And what do you have to be? A three? My will is one. You can draw the plus two. You can draw the plus two. Oh, okay. There Here is a go. way. There is no, a way. Come it. on. Come on. It. Do it. Ooh. No. Other direction. <laughs> other direction. <laughs> See? Go. Cool. So you take two horror. Wait, hold on. Let's wait. Let's check the prey rules for a second. It's like, does it actually. Because they spawned with you, so I don't no, think they, they might actually... not actually. Uh, yeah, Yogi saying, I don't think yeah. prey works like that, but I'm half Probably. paying attention. So, that, that would be very good. Yeah, because I don't mind them being on me. So let's do the prey rules. It's been a minute. All right, so 
prey is on 17. Uh, prey has no immediate effect on where an enemy will spawn. So they stay with you guys. Sweet, so take back your horror. Oh, thank god. Okay, I'm still taking two. the two you're, you're horror taking from two. that. So that, that's equivalent. I'm so, still there. <laughs> so are you putting one on Leo and then one on you? I, put, I only got six willpower. One's going on Leo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Cool, cool. You just got... <laughs> Yogi was like, you just got candy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right, that was the awfulness that happened. We are ready to begin the next round. Um, who wants to go first? I could go first to... I mean, my, sh my actions are going to be short. Because I'm going to swing my swedge ha sl swedge hammer, right? My swedge. I'm going to swing my... S <laughs> goodness! I'm going to swing <laughs> my sledgehammer for two actions to insta-kill this thing, and then I'm going to use the key. So that's my turn this round. Well, the, the key is just a... Uh, it's free a free... Trigger. Oh, okay. So then I can do that and then move closer then. So let well, me do sorry. that. Let me do that and get it over with, because there's really nothing else I can do to contribute. Um, yeah, see, see if you can get rid of the... Your deep one first. Okay. So. Well, actually, do you want to trigger the key first? Uh, does that does that provoke uh, attack? Uh, it's a free, right? So it says if it yeah, it's a free action. Yeah, it's a free action, so he wouldn't attack me. So let's do it. Let's do flashback. I'm going to use the key here to get flashback three. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So let's pull this up. Flashback three! Wow, I can't read that. Here we go. Uh, I will do it from the book, so I don't have to look away. No, doing this. One second. Hey, take a look at this. Your employer shoves a strange figurine into your hands. It is hewn of emerald stone and looks vaguely aquatic, with two unblinking eyes and a row of sharp teeth. A piece of heart-shaped amber is embedded in its center. What do you make of it? Your reply... You reply that you have seen nothing quite like it before, but it does happen to match the descriptions you have heard of the devils that skulk about the reefs a couple of miles beyond the harbor. Something fishy is going on here, but um, dump tiss. Uh, if you pardon my saying, the man mutters, folding his arms across his chest. I'm glad I wrote you in on this case. It's looking less and less like mob work with each passing hour. You nod in agreement and hand the strange figurine back to the agent. Everything about this town feels foul to you. Let's stick together from here on out, your companions say, his voice darkening. In the campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a decision Record a decision to stick together. Remove one weird-looking heart-shaped token from the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. That makes me happy. So... We remove, let's go in from the bag, search, uh, remove one of these, that. Oh, that's nice. For the remainder of the campaign, it says. Okay. So that was free. That was good. <laughs> um, do I keep the key? Do I lose the key? Oh, it doesn't say you have to get rid of the key, so All right, I keep, keep the key. it. I'm just making sure reading here to make sure that it doesn't go away. Yeah, I'll keep it. All right, so swing away. Uh, swing away for seven. Skull. Minus one. He is he is dead dead. <laughs> it only takes two damage, though, doesn't it? It's plus two. Oh, plus, it's two. Plus, plus two. Plus two. Yeah, so plus it's three damage. Eight. So that he's dead, and then I will... There's not, nothing left to see here, so I'm coming back. Uh, or do I want to put some blesses in the bag? I think I'm going to put some blesses in the bag. No, I'll move back. I'll move back. Because I may, <laughs> I may have to help somebody that's, kill that's, something. That's a fast action. You don't have to spend an action to do that. To know. which? The event? Keep faith. Oh, yes, you're right. So I'm going to play that. Fast play. Uh, during, during any window, fast play window, add 
uh, four bless tokens to the bag. So one, two, three, and four for the cost of two. All right. All right. And that card just goes to your discard. Yep. Oh, which you already did. Yep, yep. So I I'm know. I am finny. All right. Shall I move around and see yeah. what's going on? Yeah, we need we need three more clues. We got to find them. All right. Let's go to the right. All right. So cave. There we go. Uh so move. Move from underwater cavern to any flooded cave location. Okay, forced. After this is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Oh, for crap. Uh, so we'll grab the fully flooded token and flip it to fully flooded. Oh, that's annoying. Yay! <laughs> so that means I cannot stay here at the end of the turn, which right. is really annoying. Yeah, but if you're in a fully flooded so, location, you take five direct damage. Uh, let me see. That's... Make sure when you when your turn begins, when your turn ends, if you are if you did not. Okay, so when your turn begins, if you are at a fully flooded location, you struggle for air. When your turn ends, if you did not enter an unflooded or partially flooded location, you take five direct damage. You Yogi say you could be there for one turn, so I'm wondering if it's yeah. because if your turn starts, yeah, because it's start and end, yeah, yeah, and that's how I'm reading it too. If you start and end, then you take five, so you're fine for right now. Five? Rest, okay, so you so won't take it now. I'm... So as long as I move out by the end of next round, next round, you're fine. Yep. Okay. Well then, ah, oh, did so. Well, I kind of want to get the lock picks in, so that was one action. So to put let's which do... I'm just so second action is to gain a resource. Mm -hmm. Third action is I am putting my lock picks into play. Okay, exhaust lock picks. Investigate. Add your ooh. Okay, so it makes it a lot easier for you to do that. Cool, cool. Okay, so that's three. And three, and then four. Mm -hmm. Let's do a investigate. You're going to use your lockpicks? I don't really want to use it for a two, but I'm like... Well, it's exhaust. It's coming back. Yeah, let's let's use it. All right, so... Okay, come on. You want me to okay. turn it? I can turn it. I can rotate it. There you go. Uh, all right. So that will be then nine <laughs> on two. Yeah. Hey, you got to draw another card, though. I draw another oh, wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. I know why that happened. Sorry. Oh, we need to shuffle the. Yeah, throw it back in there. Throw it back in. Throw it back in. Yeah. Uh... Okay, now go for it. There we go. Nine to two. All right. One more clue off. Yeah, we're good. So we're two. I definitely succeeded by more than two. So <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. And I am one location away from where I started, so I am going to take the resource. Okay, so there we go. All, All right. right, that's my turn. Cynthia, you've got friends. I have friends. I have friends. I have friends and I have a cold scrap. I've been racking my brain how to get out of this mess. Can you run? What's it take to run? You need three and you've got two. Oof. Yeah. Well, it's like um, you have Storm of Spirits. Can she play a card without the attack of opportunity? That's the one thing I've... I've... Well, it's, I can, it's an event. I can play, for, it's I an can event play Storm of Spirits. Oh. Yeah. I, I can play Storm of Spirits. But currently, my mind is only four. Well, your your mind is yeah. less than four. It's three because it's in your hand. I have Holy Rosary. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I was trying to think of a way I could get rid of my card, but I can't. I can't. I can't that, that, that came out so, at like uh, the worst time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, well, I'm like, at the very least, you could probably do obfuscation. If she puts that down, since it's a fast play, it, it still it doesn't. doesn't trigger. Okay. That yeah. seems that yeah. seems to make sense yeah. until I can grab the monster off you. And then you yeah, can. My my thought was, if I had one more one more resource, my thought was obfuscation, shriveling, and attack. But I need five resources to do that. Oof. Yeah, you can't yeah. quite do that, can you? No. Um. No. There's a pot. I put four four blesses in there. She can do obfuscation just in case, right? Um, this is just yeah, me like spitballing, and then she can try to evade, hoping for the bless. Well, uh, her evades too. That's that's a worse yeah. option. Mm. I think I'm gonna um, go for storm of spirit. I think I'm gonna go for storm of spirit. Okay. Yeah, it's like let's try that first, just to see if you can. Do a bunch of damage to it. Oh, this is this is, this is unfortunate. All right, so I'll take down your three. Go for it. Yeah, thanks. Okay, yeah. so storm of spirit. Oops. I got you. Okay. Sorry, there we go. Here we go. I'm on four. Two. two. Oh. Two. So um, oh. Oh. that's a fail. That's a fail. A new. All right, well, you didn't do any damage to it, but you also didn't hurt yourself you or anyone what? else. I could actually just fight. Yeah, you're at a three. I Go mean, for it. Go for it. And I could use, I, I, I'm going to put obfuscation in as a fight icon. Okay, just put, hover it over here if you want to put I it in. I keep the, trying. Put it over, keep... Oh, just put it right over the deck here, like the. Um, there you go. No, I my um hand thing was coming up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm. No, it's, to it's all good. Okay. It's all good. Okay. <clears throat> all right, what does the shroud do? The shroud is minus two. Did you fail? Of course it is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Yogi, Yogi had a good idea. Uh, during your turn, use um Dexter's ability to put in shriveling into play. Oh. Yeah, the problem is I'm still on minus two because I've got occult scraps in my hand. That That's my problem. Yeah, it still would have failed. Be, it still would have failed that one. No, Yogi, I didn't. She didn't pass. She, yeah, she put out obfuscation, yeah. which put her fight to four. She drew a minus two. So therefore, you it, three. and you need okay, three. As, as much as I don't like it, what about if you discard... Uh, right of seeking and put your occult scraps into play. Well, that I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I think I think that's what you gotta do. Yeah. So. Yeah, let me grab that off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Yogi. The the enemy has three, so <laughs> not two, sadly. All right. Well, at least that moves that from a minus two now to a minus one. Yes. So you're, no, you're just you're back five. To your yeah. Things. So was that three actions? Uh, two, one, but... two. And then everything else was fast. Okay, so then you got one more. I don't know what to do. Fight, I guess. Uh, uh... Swing away. Yeah. I th I think that's like, all you I mean, can do right at the moment. Yeah. Hey. hey. So you do Yay. one. So you do one damage to. I'll be right there. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there presently. Kenji <laughs> will be right there with the sledgehammer. It's a really, really useless turn, but yeah, never mind. It's, it's all fun. good. It's all good. Well, it's it's not it's, useless. You did get that out of your hand. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and now and now your next turn you can get rid of it. So I'll swap it for shriveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. swap it for shriveling. So that way you can get it. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been helpful. We did it. We. I mean, you know. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So that ends the round. Uh, investigate enemy phase. So you're going to get attacked and you get attacked for one damage and one mental uh, trauma. Yep. Then uh, let's see. What do we got next? Uh, then we go to upkeep. Flip everything back. 
Um, then click the upkeep button. Oh, there you are, magnifying glass. Mechanics yes, wrench. The... Ooh, but I have a sledgehammer. Did that give so me a resource? Yes, it did. Yeah. Ooh, spectral razor. There you go. Now you got some other That's fighty what? stuff. Ooh, <laughs> this is nice. Ooh. This is nice. What'd you get? Spectral razor. Spectral razor. Add value to your skill value for this attack immediately. Before this attack, you may engage the attacked enemy. This attack does plus one, plus two instead if enemy is non-elite. So you can straight up kill that creature. But yeah. I'm sure you want me to do it uh, so you can save your actions for stuff. Uh, magnifying glass, fast. You get plus one to your lore while investigating. Sweet. Okay. Right. Now we check our hand size. Everybody's pretty decent. Doom goes to three, and then um, we draw our pain. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no, really? Cynthia! Cynthia, no! Oh, no. What did you get? <laughs> oh. All right, well, we, we know what you guys are doing. <laughs> so, uh, deep one assault. Um, revelation, disengage from each deep one enemy at your location. Each deep one enemy at your location and each connecting... Oh, Cynthia, bring them. Bring them. They're coming to me. They're coming to me. <laughs> bring them. Put them all them on me. Put them all in my threat area. All of them. There you go. All right. Uh, oh if no enemies engage you from this effect, search the encounter deck. I don't have to worry about that, but stuff does happen. Um, one engages me, I take a horror. Uh, this one engages me, I take a damage. Okay. All right. All right. Cindy's clear. What do you got? Treachery. Oof. Riptide. If your location is so... unflooded, Riptide gains surge. That's not you. Otherwise, test evade three. Or instead, if you're fully... Oh, no. If you fail, choose and discard okay. one asset you control. If you cannot lose one resource for each point, you fail instead. That's oh, yucky. No. Okay. Well. So what's your evade at? Five, and you need to beat a five. four. You need to beat a need four. need to beat a four. I do have... I can put in cheap shots to make it six. Which I might do. Yeah. So let's do that. So okay. let's make this a six on That's four test. Six on four. All right, here we go. Eight. So that's eight. You got to draw another one. You're at an uh, eight. If I click, it's going to oh. get rid of it. Uh, Toss no. it somewhere. There you go. There you go. I got it. Do it again. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> my God! <laughs> <sighs> Well, all right then. The chaos to the well, the bless token is out of the bag. Wow! And oh. I still fail, so that sucks. You fail so by four. I, well, if I I fail, I choose and discard an asset, so that sucks. But you know, not the worst it thing says, ever. Uh, it says you choose and discard. Does if that I mean can't that you... an asset. So you're losing your lock picks, I assume. I don't want to lose the lockpicks. Or you can lose Lone Wolf, right? Lone Wolf is an asset. I'd, I'd rather lose Lone Wolf than so that's, lockpicks. So that's one. You got... You got no, that's, that's all I have to get oh, rid of. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it sucks, but that could have been way worse. That could have been way worse. You're right. All right. So, then we kick it around. Well, I got one job. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to do my one job. Me... Well, okay. Uh, well, first do you want of me all, to clear off? Uh, sure. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Should I clear off the clues and then open up the other location so Cynthia can see what it is? Or yeah, go for, just wanna... go for it. Go for it, because y'all know what... Your guys nah, y'all know what my turn is. Go for it. <laughs> okay. So... Right. First action is we're putting in the magnifying glass. Okay. Not to interrupt game flow, but I don't see this expansion on TTS. I have the super complete mod, but it hasn't been updated to have the expansion yet. HG, it has, um, this is the update 2.2.0. You have to make sure you have that version because um, they put in the um, Edge of the Earth and Innsmouth both in 2.2.0. So it, it, is, the, it is out there for, for consumption uh, presently. Go ahead. 
All right, so second action, we'll just use the magnifying glass. So I'm at five to two. Yep. There you go. Minus one, we're good. Mm -hmm. So that's one more. But how many clues are we Matt, at now? We're at eight. We just one need more. one more. So get that one right. and we advance. Third action, investigate again. And don't. All right, so that is a bless. Let me get rid of that. So that's plus okay, two. We're... So that's plus two. And then click, click one more time. And a crit! And, and Elder Sign. Nice. All right, well, we definitely <laughs> succeeded. I did not start this round one or more locations away from my current, so I don't get the extra effect from it. Okay, so, so like, grab your clue. Not, so we've hit nine. Another clue. So we hit nine. nine. All right, so let's pull this off. Look. Put it back. Uh, recognition. You find a path that leads deeper into this strange cave system, but before you can follow it to see where it leads, the sound of water sloshing behind you sets your heart racing. When you turn, oh, to, when you turn to face the sound, what you see next nearly causes you to faint. It is an enormous hybrid of many faces and shapes, some human, some aquatic, all of them misshapen and revolting. As the thing draws closer, you meet the frozen gaze of one of the faces upon its body, and you realize that you recognize it. Spawn the set-aside amalgam enemy engaged with the lead investigator. All right, so let's, let's, okay. take, this, let's take this step by step. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, the amalgam is here. Um, so engaged with you, and then we'll take a look at them. All right, so the amalgam. So it's Monster Abomination Deep One Elite. Uh, Hunter, as a reaction, after you successfully evade the amalgam, the amalgam, the amalgam by, oh gosh, after you successfully evade the amalgam by two or more, take control of one key on it. Forced, after the amalgam engages you, if you control a key, either place one key on, of yours on it, or it attacks you. When the amalgam is defeated, place it in the decks. So you don't, so it says if you control yeah, a key, I, I either think. place one or take the damage. Yeah. So you're going to take one damage, one sanity craze. Oh, this is, all right, let's all right. put that on to Leo for now. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Shuffle each set-aside copy of Blind Sense and from the depths into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Okay, so search. Uh, blind Sense. And what was the other one? From the depths? Blind Sense and... Oh. Blind Sense and from the depths. Yep. So flip, flip. Put this in the encounter deck. Put this in the encounter deck, along with the discard pile. Shuffle it all up. Okay. Um, then shuffle each of the set-aside tidal tunnel locations together to form the tidal tunnel deck, including the set-aside altar of Dagon idol chamber and sealed exit locations. Put locations from the top of the tidal tunnel deck into play. Okay, so... Just grab it all. It's all in there. Nope, those are keys. It's not all in there. <laughs> Search. So we've got the tile tunnels. Tile tunnels. So all that's here. And it says, uh, let's see. Shuffle each of the set aside tile tunnel locations together to form the tile tunnel deck. Here. Look up here for the tile tunnel deck. Shuffle them. Okay. Put locations from the top of the tile tunnel deck into play below to the left and to the right of each revealed uh, location. Yes. Why do we have two tidal tunnel decks? Hey, Pontus, thank you for becoming a patron. I appreciate it. Why do Oh, because these are the uh sorry. These are the um uh these are supposed to go on this one. That's what I didn't do. Sorry. There we go. Alright, so we shuffle these up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yogi, for becoming a patron. Appreciate it. I mean, not Yogi. God, why do I keep saying Yogi? <laughs> Pontus. Thank you so much for becoming a patron, Pontus. Um, because I, I see his name at the bottom. That's why it is. Uh, let's see. Um, so then it says, um, 
put locations from the top of the title tunnel deck into play below to the left and to the right of each revealed location. How is that possible? Okay, so below to the right and to the left. So start on the left one. So okay, one so goes over here. So below and well. to the left, can't go to the right. And go here, to this one. Below. No, that, that has not been revealed yet. Oh, okay. It says of revealed. Is that what it says? Of revealed. Okay. So then this, so then this one is one goes there, below to the left, to the right. There. And then one can't go here. So when we reveal this. That's it. Okay. All right, cool. Pontus, thank you so much. Okay. Um, let's see. Read flashback one in the campaign guide. All right, so let me pull this back up and go to flashback one. Ooh, flashback one is a big one. Okay, so uh, let me pull this up so y'all can read along. And here we go. Flashback one. You stand in the small office examining a worn photo photograph in a well-polished wooden frame. In the photo, a squad of men in military uniforms pose in front of a, a Bristol F-2 fighter plane. Several of the men wear tan British uniforms, but one sports the olive overcoat and khakis of an American soldier. His sleeves each bear a rectangular patch stripped vertically with a captain's paired silver bars. At the bottom of the photograph, in black ink, Cursive handwriting reads, British Fourth Army outside St. Quentin, 1918. The door to the office opens suddenly, startling you. You put the photograph down and turn to address the man entering. You identify him immediately by his dark brown skin, his strong jaw, and his broad shoulders. It is Thomas Dawson, the American from the photograph. Though he has aged a bit since his war days and heavy bags hang under his eyes. One war ends, a new one begins, he says quietly. Only this enemy is even harder to root out. You ask the man what a war hero is. I'm sorry, I'm seeing stuff popping up, son. Did I read something wrong? No. Uh, amalgam. Yeah, she didn't have a tact cape because she doesn't have a key. Uh. I'll read. We'll check that. We'll check that out in a. No, it says if if you have a key, it takes control of the key, or it attacks you. I don't have a key, so it attacks me. Yeah, and we will we'll we'll check that out in a sec. Sorry, where was I? Uh, you ask the man what a war hero is doing in the investigative business, and he chuckles softly in response. War hero? I don't know where you heard that from. I was just doing my duty. Uh, you shake your head, but do not argue further. You suspect that the squadron captain Dawson rescued would disagree as well. In any event, I suppose you're wondering why I summoned you here to Boston, he says, gesturing for you to take a seat in front of his desk. You sit and respond to his remark with an affirmation, wondering aloud why a telephone call would not have been which would not have sufficed. This is a sensitive matter, he replies. A few days ago, I lost contact with one of my agents, a Miss Elena Harper. I had her investigating several strange reports I've received in the past few months all concerned a town called Innsmouth. Do you know this place? It's along the coast to the north of your town of Arkham, just by Ipswich. You know the place, though most have never heard of the shallowed, decrepit seaport. Those who do hear only ill rumors. From what you understand, the town used to be a lively port before the War of 1812, but it has since become dingy and run down. The only railway line that runs through Innsmouth is abandoned, and there are no references to the town on any maps in any guidebooks you have ever seen. Perhaps she's found something curious or has gone into hiding, but I suspect foul play. It could be mob work, but I doubt it. I'm not sending any more agents until I know for sure. However, I've some room in our discretionary budget to hire a third party such as yourself. You assume Agent Dawson is dancing around the truth, which is, the <laughs> which is that you are expendable. I know it isn't much to go on, but I need to know the status of Agent Harper. Even bad news would be better than no news at this point. If you do me this favor, our agency will be in your debt. You ask which agency Don Dawson is referring to, a smirk tugs at his lips. When you snap back to the present, 
You still gaze at Agent Dawson's face, only now his smirk is twisted in a haunted visage of agony. It is just one of the many faces that writhe in torment throughout this repulsive creature's scaly, pulsating flesh. In your campaign log under Memories Recovered, uh, record a meeting with Thomas Dawson. Okay. Alright, so let me see what I missed. If somebody was like, hey, you missed something. Uh... I'm, I'm with Yogi's first impression on that card. It says, okay, if let's... you control a key, either place one of your keys on it or it attacks you. So, oh, okay, think, yeah, that is. Okay, sure. No damage. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with less pain. Yeah. All right. So, I'm, I'm, yeah, so Yogi, then, you're right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, act two, a the escape. What in the hell is this place and why have you been trapped here? You have to find a way out, but more of your memories might be tucked away in this pit. Forced. After a location is revealed, put locations from the top of the title deck into play below to the left and to the right of that location. Objective. There must be a way out of here somewhere. If each, survi if each surviving investigator has resigned, advance. Okay, so we basically just have to find our way out. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so you've got a friend. And you've got two actions. Yes. Left. Yeah, and I can Oh, and Cynthia. No, oh, I have. Yes. Do I have no, I have one action left because I put down magnet. Oh yeah. no, magnifying glass is fast. So you so have two, two action. actions. So you have two actions. All right. I'm discarding discard your clue tokens yeah, I'm, as well. I'm, I'm discarding my clue tokens. Oh come on, really? Oh, you can't highlight them all. Oh well. I did, and then it didn't grab. There you go. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So I have two actions left. Oh, get so out this of there. thing is a. Well, this thing's a hunter. Yeah, but I wanted to hunt got... me. <laughs> yeah, but I got a decent enough shot at being able to evade the sucker. Okay. All right. So that it doesn't hunt us. <laughs> so, so the key word, this is another big one, uh, Kate, that I'll, I need you to remind me of. Abomination keyword. Uh, I know that there's one I, that I hits don't... everybody, like everybody, and then there's one that, that doesn't. Um, that would be massive, not abomination. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't think Abomination has any specific meaning in general. There could be one just like for the scenario later. Oh, but not but not now. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, cool. Not, not now. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So let's try to evade it. Just right. so that it doesn't, you know, start coming after us. So you're at a five and you need a two. Two. All right. Uh-oh. So, All you're, the blessed so you're at a seven, at and you seven. need a two. There you go. All, All right. right. You nice. did. So that's good. All right, so we'll flip him. Yeah, so he is... He's is he exhausted? Is, okay. Yeah, he's exhausted. All right, cool. So you evaded. He's off your He's off your threat area. He's evaded, and he won't come hunting for us next round. Run away! <laughs> All right, so we need to find our way out. So I'm going to go down. Okay. Uh, Tidal Pool. Uh, Tidal Pool gets plus one shroud while it is partially flooded and plus two shroud while it is fully flooded. After Tidal Pool is revealed, randomly choose one of the set-aside face-down keys and place it on Tidal Pool without looking at it. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. So it's not flooded at all, so therefore oh. it's a three. That's fine with Are me. You, why is your turn? Is your turn done? Yeah, that's yeah. four. Oh. Two clues, evade, and move. That's okay. that's me. All right. So then I'm going to gather the resource because I might need that resource. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So um, who do you want me to go next and start, start slapping at stuff or... Do you want to go now? Oh, Angie, we did reveal this location, so we need two oh, other tidal thank you, pools. Thank you. Uh, one below, one left, one right. Thank you. Okay. 
Um, Probably might have to move this yeah. board up. <laughs> yeah, so can... I'm actually yeah, here. I'll I'll start working on that. You guys figure out your turns. Okay. I'll start yeah, working. I'm on I'm gonna boards. go. I'm gonna go if you don't mind, Kenji. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna um. So I'm gonna use my fast action to discard occult scraps. Okay. And play shriveling at a cost of minus one. Okay. So it's cost me two. I got you. I got you. I guess. Yep. Okay. There we go. All right, so um, that's one action. Oh, no, it's a free action. So you still got your actions. Yeah. So I'm going to move, I think. I'm going to go down one. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Go there. <clears throat> Sorry about so the um, for each key controlled by an investigator at Bone Ridden Pit, it gets oh, minus me. one shroud. Well, I don't have, uh, I'm the only one with the key right now, so it doesn't get, uh, but the shroud is huge. This is where I need to be. So, yeah, that's, so yeah, you or me need to be here. Yeah, so <laughs> fast. If there are no clues on bone, uh, bone Ridden Pit and you control the yellow key, we get a flashback, basically. You notice an odd joint socket near the skeleton's midsection that matches the shape of the yellow key. Okay. Yep. 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 One below, one to the left, one to the right. So there's one more title location left. Well. So that was your I, that was your that first was action. First, yep. Uh yeah, that was my first action. Yeah, I wouldn't worry yeah, about that six. I wouldn't worry about that six. Yeah, it's like okay. maybe just keep exploring. Go yeah, break yeah, left. I, I think break left, right? Or do you want to go down? I don't mind. What do you oh. think? Mm. Or like, or you could come join me at mine, but you don't really have clue stuff. Anymore, I feel like we so. need to find these keys. I feel like that's that's yeah. Maybe that's gonna... maybe reveal another location, see if we could find more keys. And so if go. I go down, sure. Uh, so myself up there. Oh, uh, underground river cannot be fully flooded. Of course, after Underground River is revealed, increase its flood level. So it can't be fully flooded, so it'll be partially flooded. Yeah, but that's got victory on it. It does have a victory point, and it's got a ridiculous amount of clues, too. Um, I have nothing oh, to help me investigate. So it no, cannot no, be... That's, that's it, what I'm for. Yeah, so it's partially <laughs> flooded. It cannot be fully flooded. Um, so it will remain partially flooded. And we need to put one either... Um, uh, what's the order? What's the order? What's, I just gotta read the order. Um, the title deck in, into play below to the left and to the right of location. So, right, so below first. Yep. Alright. Well, that's all the locations now. Yep. Um, I need resources. So, you, how, how much actions do you have left? Yeah. One? One. I'm gonna okay. take a resource. Yeah. Okay. You gain yourself a resource. All right, cool. And that is your turn. I'm, I'm happy there because it can't be fully flooded, so I feel slightly safe. All right, well, uh, crack my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, both of my, well, all three of my actions are going to be to attack. I'm just going to do the big one first on the three helper. Um, so here we go. Well, that, that went well. That hurt. All right, well. All right, well. See if you I, can get rid of the little guy. I'm gonna do the two healthier one now. This is uh, with the sledgehammer. It's at four, so this is a four on two. How is this possible? <laughs> you How didn't is shuffle. This... No, you didn't shuffle. <laughs> How is that possible? Did you not shuffle? There is no way. My luck is sucks, but it's not that bad. <laughs> I just shuffled. I just shuffled. There we go. Zero. He's dead. Good grief. There's no way. All right. I'm going to shuffle it again. Yeah, there geez, it's always amusing when your bad dice luck translates. Oh, it, is, it is hot garbage is what it is. Hot garbage. <laughs> so I just I just reshuffled the bag again, too. So he's dead. All right. Um, That's all my. All right. That's all I got. Uh, all right. When he attacks me. I will deal one damage to him, and then I will get rid of that damage. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so that's my turn. All right. 
All right, so enemy turn. So the enemy engaged with me is going to attack. My ability kicks in. It says uh, after enemy attacks you, even if its attack was canceled, either deal one damage to that enemy, which I will. Um, and then it will hit me, but I will use Flesh Ward um, to cancel the horror. Because I can't take that, but I could take the damage. And that is him. The Amalgam is exhausted, so it will... Set itself back up. Yep. And then any other enemies on in play? That's it. Okay. So um, upkeep phase, flip back over. Um, click the upkeep button. Ooh, bandolier. Yes, I want that. <laughs> All right. Um. Then. Oh, there we go. Well, what did What did you get? You got You got some more holy rosaries, but you can only use one. So that can help pocket you. Pocket telescope. Uh, I use pocket telescope to look at the revealed side of. Oh. Yeah. Investigate a revealed. Investigate a revealed connecting location if you were there. Ooh, that is cool. Nice. That is amazing. Okay. All right, pain time. Oh, yeah. We go to four. Oh, yeah. And then oh, we it. draw our pain. All right, what did I get? Oh. I got Riptide. If your location is unflooded, yeah. Riptide gains surge. So let me dip that, draw another one. Keep I got... Myself. Test uh test willpower. If you reveal a skull, bad things happen. What did you get? Deep one of oh. Well, our well it says connecting locations, right? How far are you from me? You're two locations from me. Oh, I'm so, not connected. You disengage from each deep one. Oh wait. Each deep one enemy at engage disengage from each deep one enemy at your location. Each deep one enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you, which you're you're not near anyone. If no, no enemies but... engage you for this effect, search the encounter deck. Okay, so let's see. Oh. I I have rats, so they're not a deep one enemy. Okay, so you have to search the encounter deck and discard pile for a deep yeah. one, spawn and engage with you, and shuffle the encounter deck. Yeah. So I'll... I'll... Yeah, the amalgam is a deep one, but it, she's not connected to that location. I'll so. get you one. Instead of me doing a search for what's on there for the worst, we'll just find what was on the deck. There you go. That's your buddy. And then reshuffle. There. All right, so what is your little buddy? Uh, after Deep One, Bull engages you. Choose and discard one card from your hand. Well, there you go. Yeah, easy enough. <laughs> I got you covered. I got you covered. Oh, I got you. I got you. No problem. Uh, force, after an investigator defeats another Deep One enemy at any location, ready Deep One Bull and move it once towards that investigator. Oh, come to me, please. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. All right. So, um, cool. That guy sucks. And then what did you get? You got rats. I have some rats. All right. He had some rats in here. Okay. Amalgam is a deep one. Yes, he is, but he is not near her location. He is not adjacent. And that's the reason why mine didn't go to her, because I have a deep one also, Yogi. And it says in adjacent location, so the only places that, that they exist is here and here. The Amalgam's all the way up here. So, yep, that would not happen. Alrighty. Could you have searched the deck to get a lesser... Force deep one. I just pulled off the top, right? It says search the deck, and let's look at the let's look at this one. It says, mm -hmm. uh, if no, search the deck and discard pile for a deep one enemy. Spawn and engage with you. Uh, I mean, I could kind of cheapen it, but sure. Um, I was like, yeah, let's let's take a look what else is in there. Uh, we've got a lurking deep one that just has two health. We've got the one that's what's engaged with me. And that's it. So we can give her a lurking deep one and put the other one in the deck. Sure. I was like, is, is the lurking deep one better? 
It's like... I mean, it's for me, when I kill this, when I kill this creature on my turn, this thing's gonna move towards me. So Whoa. stop, stop for a second. Bring okay. Back. Okay. I have spectral razor in my hand. It's like, can you actually kill that on your turn, Cynthia? It's got five health. She can I put a shriveling. Yeah, she can put I enough damage on it. Razor. Yeah. Ah. So. There you go. We can just kill that guy straight out. Yeah, yeah cause I'm also like, cause Kanji, that amalgam is gonna move towards one of us. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I'm gonna take it. I'll take it when it comes. Oh. All right. Um. Okay. So, I think we should be good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. So, and you have rats. So no one's taking their turn yet. Oh, what did I have? Sorry, I had a test to do. Uh, Macabre Memento tests willpower. What's my willpower? Four, and I need three. Uh, and I've got, oh, uh, well, I've got Keep the Faith, but I might want to put some Bless tokens. I feel like we might need that. I'll just do a straight up test. Let's, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Here we go. Oof. So straight up fail. I got a one. Um, I take two horror. Oof. Okay. Okay. I could throw the bless tokens in now because it says it's a fast play. Um, and then do the test. But I ugh. something about it. Like there's something about it. There's something about it, Yogi. Like I feel like I don't know. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Y'all want optimal playing? You've come to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're like, I want someone who plays this game as optimally and perfectly as possible, you're in the wrong channel. We play for fun, not for uh, things stuff. All right. So um, I think I want to go. I want to go before Cynthia so that I can pull this thing off her. No. Um, but I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Let me kill it. Oh, let, then let you want to go first? first? Okay. All right, go I'll ahead. Go, I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play Spectral Razor first. Okay. Um, no, it's fight. I'm guessing. So you I have to use your it. fight ability and then you add your. But, yeah. yeah. So, so you're... I'm guessing I'm fighting at nine with that. Yes. Yes. You're fighting at nine. Yeah, Friday and okay. nine. Uh, this attack I'm deals plus it. one, plus two damage. Is it elite? It's so, not elite. So plus two damage. So you'll hit it for three. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So I'm at nine. I need four. Less. So that's ten, that's eleven. So you're at eleven. Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome to Arkham Horror, everyone. Uh, uh, oh. For my second action, wow. I, <laughs> I don't like bless cards. I do I... not like bless cards. Wow. Yeah, let's just get that out of there. Um, so that's, that's uh, lovely. That's the third time this yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to fight with um six on his four. There and you I'm go. Hit him for two. I was gonna hit him for two. Okay, I got sorry, action. I'm still in shock. Sorry. <laughs> wow. third action. I'm going to use shriveling again. Six on his four. And he's dead. How much did you hit him for? Two. No, more. you've hit him for four. He's got five health. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. That's fine. He's he's on one health. Then. So four. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, good news, you do have cards, some of your oh, cards you just remove twice. curse tokens instead of, you know, adding blesses, since that's going so well for us. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> do you, do you want to go now, Candy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, you just got candy. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> all right. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, that was hilarious. Um. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna swing uh, so my. The good news is, uh, yeah, that's not a hunter. So once it moves away from Cynthia, it's not coming back. <sighs> but I can't. I can't. Well, yeah, it's not gonna come back when it does it. So, um. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I need to catch myself for a second. <laughs> it's like 11. Wah, wah. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and... Um... You might as well just do the one... Uh... I'm just going to do a regular, I'll do a regular attack, but I'm going to add the machete to it to offset the minus one. So it's going to be a five on three. Um, because my mechanics wrench is out, I don't well, need a machete anymore. Kanji, you don't even need to use the sledgehammer at all. Oh, just let it attack me. But well, you can just attack it. Well, that's what I was saying. It, oh, just do a straight attack. Yeah, yeah you don't need plus one damage. You only need to put That's one more damage on four, it. Five, and I have enough to go. You're right. You're right. <laughs> All right, so I'll just do a straight fight without the sledgehammer. It's like if you want, you can still put in the machete to make it make six. It a six. On yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All like... right. I got a skull. Uh, what a skull? Skull's minus one. Uh, so it's dead. You're good. All right. All right, so we can. Oh, but then this guy comes toward you. Yep. Yeah, so he moves one space towards Kanji. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was just one action. That was incredible. Um, I need to keep the heat. The problem is I need to keep the heat off. Well, you a... need to move. Unless you want to hit the amalgam, you need to move away from it. Um, I'm going to actually go for the deep one bull, and then I could use my event card to get two clues. He's going to make you oh, discard you a card when he engages, just for the record. Do what? He's going to make you discard a card when he engages you. Uh, hmm. Well, if you don't want the other blessed tokens in the back, you can just get rid of that one. I feel like we're going to need them, but yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Every time we use them, we've drawn them. Oh, into Yogi's, Yogi's right. Scene of the crime has to be the first action. Yogi, you just love to just take it away from me, don't you? <laughs> this is what to take it away. Um, okay, so that was one action. I've got two actions left. So hmm. this is tough. It's like you could you could go down and just kill the deep one, like if you wanted to. Now nah, it's or gonna be a tough fight. Try. I need my sledgehammer yeah. to kill him. Yeah, I need a four. Well, maybe, well, maybe I... like move to another location or something. I, I could. I could reveal this one, worst case. Yeah, because that could be one of the ones we need to see. Okay. So it's like, you can go over there. Can you, can you yeah, evade this uh, guy? Because I can deal with the, I can deal with the deep well, one. I, I just room. have to move, a, I just have to move away, because he only moves one. Okay, alright, alright. So, I'm gonna go one, two, here. And let's see what um, move, move from um, the underwater cavern to any flooded cave location. After underwater cavern is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Okay, fully flooded. Okay. All right, so, well, at least we got that out the way, right? Um, yeah, and it's like, there are, like, if you want to go fight things, like, most of these are cave locations. So it's like, you can get to them. Yeah, uh, I, I could play Bandolier and Wrench, but... My thing about the wrench is that choose an enemy at your location and an enemy attacks you. That's for helping people out. The fight. Um, use this ability only against an enemy that has attacked you since the end of your last turn. You get plus two fight for this attack and deal plus one damage. My sledgehammer is still better than that. My sledgehammer does plus two damage, but it is for two. Hmm. Nah, it's done. It's done. Uh, that's a good idea, Yogi. I should have done that. I should have done Bandolier and then put the Mechanics Wrench in. Ah, well. Too late. Alright. 
I'm done. Go ahead. Your turn. All right. So one of my actions has to be moving. For you got sure. a, you got rats on you. And I have the rats. So do I just want to think I might just punch the rats? God. Yeah, the wrench would be really good. I should have put it in. You're right. I didn't think about it. Oh, I don't want to just punch the rats. Oh, I think I have to just punch the rats. They suck. Uh, what's your fight? The... <laughs> Two. Oh, this is risky. <laughs> this is risky. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Come on. That's minus one. All oh, right, wait, wait, wait. Are you... Wait. Yeah, it's not flooded. That's just minus one. No, it's not flooded. Minus one, so we're fine. All right, discard Goodbye, the rats. Rob. Yeah, All right. so that's your first act. All right, so... One of the actions has to be moving. Mm-hmm. But let's put this pocket telescope into play. Okay. Well, actually, shit, I can't. Never mind. Because it's a hand not until the lockpicks go away. Okay. I don't want to do that. So then lock, so, lockpick that bad boy. Yeah, let's, let's use the lockpicks for the first one. So... Yep. All right. That will be a nine on three. Okay. Well, actually, that's ten on three. <laughs> there you go. All right. So yeah. that's one clue. Mm -hmm. So let's do the second investigate. So this is just a five on three. In, yeah, because you got the plus one, right? We got yeah. the plus one. Yeah. There you go. That's one. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's two of them. So then you got your last action. So the last action is I have to move. Yep. <sighs> do, 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 which direction? Let's go down. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. I'm thinking if I go to the side. You can kind of well, circle the, back around. Yeah, you can kind of well, circle back the, around. Well, the amalgamation, we choose which way it right, goes, right? Right, right, that's so correct. we can have it go to the right again. So that it's further away, because it could follow. It would, it'll come after me, because I'm still the closest thing to so, it. Uh, so my question, though, is, and this is, this is for my knowledge, um, when do amalgams go to unrevealed locations, or do, do hunters go to unrevealed locations, or do they go to revealed locations? Mm, they can go know. to any location. I think I can go to any location. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just double checking. Let me see. I don't mm. think there's any restrictions. Hunter's on page 12. Moves to connecting location along the shortest path to the investigator. There are multiple equidist investigators. Doesn't have any prey instructions, right? No, no prey, just hunter. Nope, doesn't say anything. All right, cool. Hey, then... hey before you move, you have four actions. Yeah, yeah she did. I had to fight, she... I did two investigates, and now I need to move. Yes, correct. Because right. I had rats. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot right. about the rats. That is correct. So let's go to the right, because then we can make it go to the right and be further away from everyone else. All right. I guess. Sounds good All to right, me. Let's go here. Let's see what we got. Uh, if investigators at Alter a Today Gun control the blue key or three or more other keys, they may spend two clues as a group to take control of the green set aside key. So let me grab the green set aside key and put it here as a reminder. I was like, I got the, the spend so, two clues per investigator, so we need six. Yep. Yeah. And how much do we have? Five. Just two? We got two so far. So, All right. so we either... And we don't have the blue key yet, anyway, so... Yeah. Oh, it says, yeah. or, three key, or three or more other keys. So we've got, yeah. we just got to hunt around. Yeah, so we got the red key. We know that there's another key here. So, so there, there's one obviously there. 
there or all the way over here. Well, I don't think the one on the far left's a key because that's one of the. Is that one of the original? No, I, that wasn't one. I of the don't original. know. Yeah, I don't know. No, it can't be. It can't yeah. be. We revealed the originals. Yeah. All right. Well, that's me then. Okay. So, um, enemy phase. Uh, anybody engage with anything? Nope. Uh, you move the amalgam where you want. He's going to move here. This guy's not a hunter. He's just where he is. Oh, actually, hold on. What? Oh, that's a that's an investigator action, not a monster right, action. I just correct, like yeah, correct, that, correct, that doesn't correct. count. I'm just correct. like, don't, don't don't make the game harder. <laughs> All yeah. right, so uh, that's the enemy phase. Then we do uh, click our upkeep buttons. I got vicious blow. Heck yeah! There we go. All right, um, and we flip back over our thank you for whoever did that. I appreciate it. And I got Vicious Blow, you got Deny Existence, fast play when an encounter card or enemy attack would cause you to do one of the following. Discard to lose resources, lose, take damage, take, or you ignore that aspect of the effect. Nice. And you got your Unexpected Courage. Unexpected Courage. All right. More pain. Uh, click, click to five doom. Okay. And then we draw. Uh, I got Memory of Oblivion. Oh, God. Um, you got... Oh, no, not this again. <laughs> 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 and you got Rising Tides. So, Revelation. The good news, at least it's Cynthia getting this, who has a chance of getting rid of it. I have zero yeah. chance of getting so, rid of that card. <laughs> so, your Rising Tide says, increase the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. If so no, so you, would, yours. That would be like mine, right? Yeah, so. so you're just partially flooded. Yep. And that's yours. Mine? Oh, God. Uh, test for willpower or for for lore. If you reveal a heart token, which I can't, it's been removed from the game. For each point you fail by, choose and discard one card from your hand. Okay, not terrain in your parade, but weren't there two of those in the bag? Um, now you're gonna make me look at setup. I mean, you still gotta go for willpower because you ain't doing lore. Yeah, review and simulate draw chaos bag. Let me check. No, there's there's no heart token in the chaos bag. Uh, oh, there's, there's no there heart? should be two. Oh, there are not. Oh wait, no standard. Yeah, standard. There should be two. So. Oh okay. Um, it, it's the <laughs> this one here is what I'm looking at. Um, and there should be two in there too, not just one. So let me search that real quick. Yeah, we haven't taken those out. I'm not that mean. Yogi. What's miss? Something's missing. He took out one of the tablet tokens, remember? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, sure. So two are in there. Here we go. Boom. I failed it. Oh. Um, I will discard a card from hand. Uh, keep faith. Don't. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, and everybody right. else is done what everybody else has done. Okay. Um, that's that. <sighs> A lot just happened. So what do y'all want to do next? Uh, do you want me to go get this clue and the key? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, do that. Hey, Jerry, what's right. going on? So, so one. Let's go here. It's one. Let's use. Yeah, let's use the lock picks just in case this goes wrong. Okay. So, what's that? You're at a 10? 10. Okay. Shroud uh, is uh, minus two. Minus two. All right, we're good. Uh, if you fail, you would have taken something, but you're fine. All right. And All then for right, a free so action, you can grab the key. Well, let's grab the key. So, oh, no. <laughs> yellow key. So nice. Yellow key. Uh, that could be used somewhere we passed. Somewhere. Where, where was that? Uh, the yellow. middle one, Bone Ridden Pit, where the guy is. 
You could use it there Great. to unlock flashback too. Uh, okay, so that was one action. Yep. That. So two. Well, wait. One action. There, one action was going... to. One action was to move. The other action was to get the key. Was yeah, one to action. Get the clue. Move one to there. So two actions. So you got two left. If I go there, he engages me. I yeah. don't like that. Um, I plan to kill him, if that means anything. Well, then how about I go the long way around, and I will go down. Okay. First. Yeah, because we need to find, we need to open up some stuff and find that next key. Go for it. Oh, three. Alright. Uh, the tile pool gets plus one shroud while, shroud while it's partially flooded, uh, and plus two shroud while it's fully flooded. After tile pool is revealed, randomly choose one of the set aside face down keys. Nice. Last key. Another and put it ba boom uh, and place it there so this must be the sealed exit it's over here well or you know or here or here or here <laughs> oh i didn't realize that one was revealed yeah yeah you're right sorry so we've got we've got um a couple other chances okay the pointer all right cool so right, that was that was Three, yeah. so I might as well go for a fourth and just try and get the clue. Makes sense to me. So, all right, so that will be five on three. Five on three. Do I want to do that or? We need let the clues to get me... the green key, so. Okay, we do need the clues, but I'm like, let me get this. I'm going to put obfuscation down just in case. That's fast. other yeah. crap. Okay. Yeah. Happen. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So that's... Well, that's fast. So that doesn't actually take an action. Okay. So. And then we will do this. So okay. five on three. Uh, yep. You There's got it. Two. Perfect. Grab your clue. All right. So, so we've got four so clues. So we just need clues. two more, and then and then one more key, and we can get the green key. Yeah. All right, so uh, Cynthia, what? How are you feeling? You want to go first? You want me to go? What do you want to do? Um, I'm feeling like I haven't got a lot going on over here. So, do you want a clue grab? Uh, or do you want to? Any hope? I don't know. Oh, okay. We well, can go. go check out yeah, the location. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Think I'm gonna go okay. South. Mm -hmm. Underground river cannot be fully flooded. After Underground River is revealed, increase its flood level. And that's another one with victory. That's another one. So, oh, so one of oh, Jesus. Here. <laughs> They're all the way it, on the other side of the board. <laughs> over, yeah, because one of those has to have the resign location on it. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We got to get the green key, get this other key, and then um, I'm assuming while you're leading this amalgam around, um, in a circle. Well, the thing is, it has to be investigators at this location controlling the keys. So since they're split oh. up between two of us, if we don't have the blue key... <laughs> well, I'm, that's why I'm thinking, like, uh, the blue key is still out there, so the blue key is either here or here. So my thing is, if you can lead him in yeah. a circle and the blue key pops up, grab yeah, it. Yeah, I'll keep leading him, I'll keep lead him in a circle. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. Like, you're you're going to dance him around. I'm going to yeah, that's cast Dream so Relay. You're going to cast Wish? I'm gonna do my oh, you're going to test it. Okay, your... okay. Yeah. So what am I? I'm on six. Six. Six one. on three. I'm five, five. on three. Yeah. Oof. Oof. All right. And again? Yep. Yeah, you might as well. There you go. There you there go. go. At least you got rid of it. Yeah, okay. All right, um, so that is you. My turn. Uh, should I should I reveal or should I kill this thing? I mean, that thing's not going to move anywhere. So, so should I like, go for the reveal? Maybe, yeah, go check out what the other location is so we know. One, two. Uh, after idol is revealed, place the set-aside blue key. It's all the way over here. <laughs> of course it is. 
and it's a four. So if we, if you, so it says if there are no clues and you have the purple key, which is the upside down one, then you get flashback four. All right, so you've got to come over here, and, yeah, and I'll. The, this is the purple key. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's one, two, and then I have one other action. Let me get some stuff down too. Um, I'm gonna put down the bandolier. Two. Bandolier. Is that a cave location, Kanji? Yes, that is. Why? What's supposed All to right, happen? Uh, what happened? I'm. I'm just. Thinking, no, nothing. I can go to the underwater cavern and I can get there faster. Okay, okay, okay. Not, it's, not a flooded, it's not a flooded cave location. Oh, it's not a flooded? To any flooded it's cave flooded. location. Okay. Yeah. Flooded. Oh, okay, never mind. Pocket telescope. Oh, yeah, she, she can pocket telescope uh, to get a little bit closer. So you don't have to go all uh, the way there. Yeah, uh, but I have to put it down. I have to get rid of something else to do that. All right. Cool. I that was my that was my 3. 1 2 3. All done. All right. So, um uh, upkeep phase, enemy phase, sorry. So, where do you want him to go? Cuz it's equidistant, uh, right? 1 well, 2 if, 3 1 2 3. Yeah. Well, I'm like if I need to get that way though. Bring him down. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring him this way. Okay, this guy doesn't move. And then uh we flip back over our tokens and then um uh, Two, refresh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. And then uh, click the upkeep button. Ooh, another vicious blow. Oh, I got my weakness. Oh, All no. Right. You got the read the signs. Investigate. Add your uh, willpower value to your skill value. Yeah. Hey, Thank you me. can investigate for sure. Um, That's going to be interesting. Because you'll get two clues for that. That's nice. Okay, what's mm -hmm. your what's your pain? Chronophobia! Place chronophobia and play I, in your I, threat I, area. Yeah. Horse, it's at, not horrible. So at the end of your turn, you'll take one direct horror. For two actions, you can discard it. Yeah, it's not horrible. It just delays me a little bit, which uh, sucks. Oh, it goes in your threat area. Should go there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, all right. Um, then doom. Uh, We're almost there. Six. Um, and then let's draw our encounters. I got from the depths. Revelation, if the amalgam is in the depths, uh, put it, it into... Is. is it in the depths? Nope, it's in play. Okay, so Hold then... On. Hold on, because I got the same card, so... so yeah. Okay, so if the amalgam is in the depths, put it in play, engage with you. Otherwise, place the amalgam in the depths and from the depths gain surge. Okay, so where is in the depths? Okay, so how do we handle this? Because I've got exactly the same card. Well, it, it goes in order, I think. Um, so tech, well, okay, so technically my card goes first, so... Okay, so you're... I'm, uh, I'm lead investigator. So let's do it in so, order, then. So Revelation, if your location is unflooded, Undertow gains Surge. Yours is unflooded, so it gains Surge. So discard and draw again. Uh, da -da -da, yeah, mine is. Okay. So you've uh, got a Lurking Deep, um, person with the lowest... Yeah, so you're just going to take one damage. Okay, so he's That's in your threat fine. area. All right, and then we go in clockwise order. Is that how it works? Yeah, I would assume so. So okay. that means Cynthia's Cynthia next. So where is... Uh, so if the Amalgam is in the depths, where is in the depths? So, so in the depths is just an out-of-play area. I think it said next to the encounter deck. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. In there. We can double... Double check the rules for it. Uh, let me see. Then, I'll, hold on. I'll tell you right now. Good. I'll tell you right now. The depths. Some mm -hmm. cards in the scenario refer to an area called the depths. The depths is an out of play area next to the act and agenda decks that the amalgam uh, enters and leaves. There you go. Boom. Okay. So you and get surge. Surge. So I discard this and draw again. Yep. Um, so. Unflooded, it gains surge. It's on. It's it is partially flooded. You shouldn't oh. have discarded that. Uh, should have discarded that. Can I have that back, please? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so if you're um, otherwise, put the undertow into play in your threat area. After you move, take two damage and two horror. Discard undertow as a free action. Discard one card from your hand. Test strength or dex to fight the pull of the tides. If you succeed, you discard it. So that is here on you. 
Well, that's not the greatest card for you. All right, then for me, if the Amalgam is in the depths, put it in play, engage with me. Hello. Oh, there you go. You have something to fight, Kanji. Oh, I, I enjoy <laughs> it. I enjoy it. And I'm about to get two clues, too. Um, so, <laughs> otherwise, place the Amalgam in the depths. Okay, so cool. He's engaged with me. All right. So, yeah. however, it after it engages you, if you control a key, either place one of your keys on it or it attacks you. Boink. I'll get it back. Your confidence. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna put that there. <laughs> oh. All right. No, that's not good. Yeah, that did work out perfectly, Yogi. All right, so that is all that mess. So, um, do y'all mind if I go first to deal with this? Yeah, go right ahead. You go for it. All right, so first of all, I'm going to put out the event uh, play only as your first play only as your first action. So my first action is to put this out. Uh, spending two. It says uh, discover one clue to your location, two clues instead if there's an enemy at that location. The enemy does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Now, I also want to use vicious blow. Let me see if I'll kill this guy. Oh, no, I'll kill him with the sledgehammer if I'm successful. So um, we're going with the sledgehammer for my other two actions, putting me at a seven on three. And I will do three damage to him if I kill him. All right, and let, I'll just grab the two clues that you just got. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, thank you. He's dead. <laughs> well, he's, he's in the depths. <laughs> he, he, is, he, is, he is. I sent him so far back to the depths. <laughs> and I think you can just take I, the yeah. clues of your fashion, right? Uh, let me read that just to make sure for keys. Make sure we're playing it right. Um, for keys, uh, if an investigator calls an enemy with a key on it to leave play, that investigator must take control of each of the keys that were on that enemy. Yes. So I get it. So I get my clue. I get that back. I got two clues, and I feel good about my life. I might get the blue one. All right. So that that's me. That was three. Yeah, I got two clues, Yogi. It's already there. Kate put them on there for me. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. So I I don't know where did the where did the dude go? <laughs> where did what dude go? The bad guy. The amalgam into the he's he's above the deck here. Thank you. I put him back in the depths. All right. Well, I kind of know what I'm going to be doing. Going to be hopefully you go for it because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> All right. So, first action is we're going to try and evade this guy. So I'm putting in the. It's not what I was using an expected courage for, but we're going to do this. Okay. So that makes it. Seven to four. Okay. Uh, is your area flooded at all? Uh, no. Okay, so it's a minus one. All right, so he is evaded. All right. I got him. So. I got him. Yep. Okay. There. Now, second action is I'm going to play sneak attack. And deal two damage to an exhausted enemy at my location. Killing him instantly. <laughs> Killing him. Nice. Okay, he's, he's gone. He's dead. All right. And then for three and four, I'm going to get rid of chronophobia. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, that's I, me. I think I have a plan here. <laughs> I've got probably part of a plan. plan. <laughs> I think it's probably a bad what plan. And I just realized one good thing we know, the resign location's all the way over here. So yeah, we know where yeah, that's good. yeah, so that's good. Uh, well, let's, <laughs> let's hear the plan. Let's hear the plan. Okay, so my plan is read the sign to investigate. Okay. Two clues. All right. Um, then I'm going to move and use deny existence as a fast action to ignore the health taking damage and just take the two horror why would you one of which why would you take that i'm confused uh, uh undertow 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Which All right. just kind of undertow and lets me move again. All right, do it. So that's my plan. Let it happen. Yeah, Yogi, I thought about trying to do the test, but my I would be testing strength or agility. Yeah, you I got this. You got this. Strength to agility, and I just I feel like I'd be discarding a card for no purpose. Yeah, you got this. Uh, You're good. So play investigate. Yeah. So I'll put yeah, that in your discard. Spend your two. Me two. So you're at eight. Oh. That was a minus Dang. three. It was a minus three. Uh, it was a minus yeah. three. I saw it. Thank you. It's a minus three. So you're at five. If you succeed, discover one additional. Uh, this is at four. So you're fine. So you get two. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh. I saw it. I saw it. All right. And then I'm going to. Uh, why am I touching the blood token? I'm going to move. All right, which when was. I do, uh -huh. It triggers Undertow. Which you would fast play. I'm going to deny existence. Yeah. Which will. I'm going to ignore the health. Play when an encounter card or enemy would cause you to do one of the following discard cards from your hand, lose resources, lose actions, take damage, or take horror. You ignore the yeah, aspect I'm of that effect. Ignore the damage. I'm just going to take the horror. Okay. And then you discard Undertow. Discarded. And discard Undertow. Yeah. There you go. There we go. All right. Cool. That's all done. Yeah. Well, well done. Flip it over. I got it. There you go. <laughs> Kate's got it. Kate, 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 what are you doing? Kate, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> there, there you go. What is happening? What's happening? All right. All right, so that ends so that ends the round. Uh, enemy activation. This guy, after investigator defeats a deep one, he would have moved oh, he here. Moved he would have moved. Yeah, he would have moved here. Yeah. So. Oh, except for I also, the guy I defeated was also a deep one, wasn't so, it? So so he would have been he would have been back here then no matter what because I went first. Yeah. He would have went over here then he would have come back here. Then he would have come back to me. Yep. That's why. Yep. 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 All right. So we played it. We played it right. We played it right. Um, okay, so then up, um, flip back over and then hit our upkeep buttons. All right. I got the 45 automatic. And I got eavesdrop. And you got, ooh, showmanship. After an asset enters play under your control until the end of the round, you get plus two to each of your skills while resolving a triggered ability on that asset. That is baller. I have no asset to play. But you will. You know. Choose an unengaged okay. enemy at your location. <laughs> Test lore where, lore where X is the evade value of the chosen enemy. If you succeed, discover two clues at your location. Ooh. Interesting. Well, that's an interesting yeah, to that's... get clues off of that one. All right. Pay time. So this oh, happens. Yeah. Uh. Here we go. Uh, your worst fears come true. Puddles of water that had barely reached your ankles are rising and joining one another. You scramble to find higher ground, but your efforts are for naught. In a matter of minutes, the water level has risen to your knees and shows no sign of slowing. Increase the flood level. Blah, 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 blah. Increase the flood level of each revealed location. So let's do that first. Oh, no. So this is underwater. Uh, this is underwater. These two can't. No. Oh, they can't, they can't. So then just put, yep, there, there, here, here, and here. Oh, wait, does that one? Yep, that one too. That one too. Yep, that sucks. Okay. All right, that's, All right. that's great. Uh, until the end of the game, each time a location is revealed, increase its flood level from this point forward. So we've got one more location to increase flood level. Oh, we've this, only got one more. Keep this card next to the act deck as a reminder and advance to Agenda 2A. So we'll keep that here. Agenda 2A. Agenda 2A. Agenda 2A. The water rises. Your every movement is coupled with the loud swashing of rippling water all around you. If the tide continues to rise, the cavern will be completely submerged in a matter of hours. Forced. When your turn begins, if you are, full, if you are at a fully flooded location, you struggle for air. When your turn ends, if you do not... Enter an unflooded or partially flooded location during your turn. Take five indirect. 
Okay. All right. Uh, all right. All right, we got an eight to do that, so okay. And then we draw our encounters. We're not done. <laughs> oh, man, come on. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. All right, so Revelation, and you got another deep one. I got, just... a, I got an enemy, so what do you guys got? I got a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. That's what I got. Okay. So <laughs> test three lore, which great. Um, I'm going to fail. Well, let's take it in order. Let's, yeah, let's take it in order. So, oh. Kate, you take a damage. Yes, I do. All right. All right, then we come down to uh, Cynthia. Test three lore. Your lore is two. two. Go for it. Yeah. Your lore is zero. So, <laughs> uh, you take two damage. Yep. Then you discard that card. All right. All right, so now for me... Kenji, you might need to start searching for your heal cards. <laughs> I, this, this is insane. Really? <laughs> sure, I'll take those two. Um, shuffle, because that's the thing thing. I I'm gonna put one on Flesh Ward. <laughs> that that gets rid of Flesh Ward. Oh, I thought I had the mix. Okay, well, I got to take it, too. I mean, you, you might want to use it and get rid of it. Oh, well, I'm like, going gonna, gonna to use one on Flesh Ward, so I, and it says when you're a dealt damage or horror, so I'll use one. And then just take one here. From an enemy attack, not from this. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, cause you're starting to get up there. Yeah, I, I just went back down. I'll I'll put one on there to ditch it, and then take take the other one to go to four. There we go. Okay. Start wibbling. Yeah, this is stupid. All right, <laughs> so okay, so um. All right. Well, I'm like, you need to find some heal cards. I do. I have one of these stupid things again uh, um are you in a fully flooded location or no no i'm in a partially flooded location uh, right. it's like if you could swim over here well i have to be in a fully flooded location for you to do that yeah. um cynthia yeah would would you be able to kill this thing for me uh the deep one thingy yeah. I, just, yours. I, uh, I switched. Yogi had a good point. Uh, get rid of Bandolier, keep Flesh Ward, so I did that. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. Thank you, Yogi. Um, oh, except for, oh, except for then you take a damage, so hold on. Um, Let me I try evading. Hang we're, on. We're getting, a little, on. we're getting a little up there. Yeah, hang on a second. If I come to you, if I... <laughs> Try to attack him, but don't engage you. As long as I hit yeah. him, I don't damage you. Well, you, even if you hit me, I got I can take five more damage. So if I come to you, sorry about the dogs. <laughs> uh, if I come to you and I attack him, that's two actions. I can do two damage to him. That's all that's needed is two damage. Go for and it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I'll look so, at her um, that key. Heading your way. And I'm going to attack him without engaging. Using okay. shriveling. Okay. So I'm on six on his two, correct? Correct. Yep. <coughs> there you go. All right. And he takes okay. two damage. So he's dead, so discard him. He's gone. All right. Okay. And then you got um, uh, one more action. I was gonna say, yeah. Cynthia, do you want to move up and check out That's the last? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Wrong person. That's oh, not... I don't want to move you. I want to move you. There you go. Okay. There you go. That's me done. So that at least gets us. All right. So, um. Do you want to get those okay. two clues in the key? Do you want me to get the two clues, or do you want me to start heading over to you, Kanji, we to need do the that? Key. 
Get the key. Get the, the key. Uh, well, blah. okay. Um, because there's a key right here too. Yeah, we need that. That's going to be the purple key, which we need to unlock the flashback on the place where you. Yeah. Are. So get the purple key, and while you're heading yeah, over there, you can get the blue key. So go for it. All right, so this is now partially flooded, so it gets plus one shroud. So it's at four. So four. So first action, we'll use the lock picks to make that the ten. Okay. On four. There you go. All right, good. Uh, the, is it just one or one. both? Okay. Just one. And then we'll use the magnifying glass for six on four for the next one. Hey, there it is. And then you get the key for free. Or and key. get the key. All right, so that's two actions. And then um, head to me. Yeah, so one, two, I guess. Yeah. Um... Oh. Well, actually, hold. What's the hold on? What's the? You're, okay. you're, you're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Your turn now. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. When your you're turn, okay. okay. Yeah, when your turn ends, if yeah, okay. So I just have to move out next turn, which I will be. So that's fine. Um. Okay, so I need to kill this guy so we could get this memory. Um. Uh, so. Oh, hey, actually, that cave location is flooded now. So next turn, I can just get there in one. Uh, ha. From Aha. any flooded cave location. Yep. Yes, you can. Thanks. All right. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Is that the only one that was like that? Oh, no. The other yeah. one's over here. The other one's over there. The other yeah. one's over there. All right. So I'm going to... I got to kill this guy. I know that because we need to get the memory that he's hiding um, when you yeah. when we're heading out of here, so um, I can't fight him this round. Wait, Cynthia oh just killed something. Hold on, no, 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 Cynthia killed something. Remember? Was it a deep one? Yes, it was a deep one. Boop. So that goes there. Means he engages and, with me. And engages with Cynthia. And what happens when it engages? Oh, oh, oh. Nothing. Uh, after D1 engages, choose and discard one card from your hand. Well, actually, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Don't do that. Okay. Because Cynthia was not there at that time. Uh, she was here, right? Cynthia was here. So, so then she so then moved there. here. So then she would have so, not moved yeah. there. She would have moved there. Yep. So yep. You just move there. Yeah, makes sense. And that would also mean I would need to move a different direction, so I would go this way. So you would do... Yep. Okay. Yep. There we go. All right, Janet. Thank you. All right, that's Where's actually better. Janet? That's actually better, Kate, because we get the memory. You have the key. Oh. So we get flashback too. No, but there's clues on here. Oh, oh, you'd have to clear them before you get them right, right. I, okay. I have to clear the clues first. All right, so I'm going to do one. Yeah, because I only have one to investigate. I can't get that clue. Um... I'm just a vicious blow person, so... Yeah, you one, might as well just put it over. Two... Well, do you want to be on my location in case something comes up? Yeah, that's fine. Three. We're good. Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't... Yeah, the one I need to grab. Uh, I'm actually going to grab a card this time instead of... The... Um, is it a free action to trade keys? I have no idea. Some effects may allow an investigator to take control of keys. Keys are no. When an investigator takes control of a key, they flip it face up. If an investigator who controls one or more keys is eliminated, place each. As an, as, a, as an action ability, I can give you one. So it's an action. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Oh, well then... Hmm. Yeah, my thing is... Well, my thing was like, if, if, you, if you use an action to take my key, we've got enough clues... You just need to go to the... Is this a cave system? Well, Kenji. You can actually do one action to take. one Or my action, I can give it to you. Then on your action, you can move, swim from underwater to the cave of Dagon, since it's a cave location. Get the key, and then go up. 
Also, like swimming to the cave doesn't really help. <laughs> it's it's still two moves either way that I do that. Why? To the to the okay. Which one are you talking about? Going from there to where? Yeah, so if I move from here to there, that's one. Then if uh -huh. I move from there to there, that's still two. Or if I go from here, that's one, two, if you get rid of that enemy first. And that's the thing, if I, if I can kill oh, him, if, if, I, if I don't yeah. kill him, you have an option. So I give uh, you... Uh, uh, shoot. I'm like... Hold on, hold on, there's something else going on here. Hang on, because... I wouldn't be able to... I, 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 yeah, yeah, we'll be... Uh, stop, 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 stop. Andy, stop for a second. I can't stop for a second. Kenji, stop for a second. Because Kate's got the purple key. She can go and get the blue key. And, and then I flash can go back four. And then yeah. use the blue key to get the green key. Yeah. It all it, it all depends on what y'all want to do. Like my thing is if I give her my key, she doesn't need the blue key. It, well, it's like, y'all want the memory though, it, it sounds like. I don't know we if we want the memory. Yeah, we don't need we the, the flashback. We don't need we it do. to win. But we, we don't we need want it to it. win, but I think we need it. Okay. Yeah, I'm like I, I have a feeling the more of these we get the better things okay. are later. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. And cool. That's that's my impression. we do we we have time. We're only on the second agenda. Alright. It's like we got some time. Okay. Alright. So our turn's All done, right. enemies go. Anyone engage? Nope, this guy doesn't do anything. So then we go to upkeep, so flip every card over. And then upkeep button. I got safeguard. After any another investigator moves to your location, took me. I'll safeguard move to that location. Ooh. I think I need to get safeguard down. <laughs> Free movement. Um Okay, then... New plan. I go kill that thing. <laughs> What'd you get? I go kill the thing. Unexpected courage. Oh, yeah. Unexpected courage. But if I go kill that thing, then you guys with the keys can do your key. Yeah. It's a for... Magic. Yeah. This attack uses... It's a... Okay, so... Okay, but what, what are we doing? Well, okay, we need to see what other cards we draw first. So let's... let's yeah, let's, let's work this through. So now Doom. Doom goes to one. And we draw our encounters. Let's draw our encounters draw... see what happens. All oh, right. You, you and I got the same one again. Blind sense. Put dreams in the play. Minus one there and minus one. Well, we're never getting rid of this. So... <laughs> so there you go. Just... And... uh I'm really living with me. And All Cynthia right, and I got the same, which is Blind Sense. Revelation test Dex 3. If you fail and the amalgam dot 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 is in play, it readies, moves directly to your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. It is not. If it's in the depths, put it into play, engage with you, it makes an immediate attack. Dang it, and you go before me. Ouch. I, I have could... unexpected courage. All right, so do your test. Do your test. Well, Kate, are you finished her, with yours? Yeah, hers is uh, her I'm, dreams of real life. I'm, I'm never <laughs> getting rid of this, so this is just... I just gave myself the minus one sanity. That's staying forever, because yeah. I have no shot at getting rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> so so do your test. You're doing a dex test. You got to beat a three. You have a base two. I'm going to discard... I'm going to commit unexpected courage and showmanship. Okay, so you're at a what's that? A five? Six. Five? Six. Six? It, yeah. Oh six. Yep, you're at a six. Yeah. So six, you gotta beat a three. There you go. Alright, so yeah, you didn't good. fail, discard it. Now my turn. Um so I have a two. I'm gonna commit the forty five automatic. I'm just gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, so I'm at a three, so this is a three on three, straight up. Three on three. Woohoo! Hey. Woo <laughs> <laughs> if you were attacked there by an enemy round, you automatically succeed instead. So yeah, buddy. He stays or there he stays. Go. He stays or he stays. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay, that was a good, okay. almost a good one. So, uh, all right, so what's the plan? All right, so do we want me to go get... Why don't I go kill that guy? Yeah? <laughs> Can you kill him? Well, Cynthia, you yes. don't have the unexpected courage anymore. I know, but I'm uh, going to be attacking with the six. Okay. Oh, on a five. All right. Six if you on a five, though, that's... Are you, are you sure, though? No. It's a six on. It's a six on four. Is what it is. Six on four. Yeah. I'm about anything to commit to it. It's up to you. Like, do you do you want to go for that or? Well, here. Okay. So what what's the plan for me? Yeah. Do yeah. You want me to go? So we want it me to go like, over here? Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like y'all want to get the um the memory, so go get the memory. So you okay. would be so you would be Wait. one oh. two. Hang on. So that'd be three. How many keys do you have between you? Three. Uh, yeah, we have three between us. So right now Bone Ridden Pit has three shroud. Which one? For each key controlled by investigator, uh, it gets minus minus one shroud. Uh, I'm not investigating here. Why do you have the ruler out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I will talk okay. simulator. Hey, okay, the reason I say that is because you can get the flashback too there. We have to That's get rid of all the pit. clues on here, though. So she would have to spend, if, if, basically if she would have to spend all, she just has to spend three of her four actions to get these three clues. She gets them, we get the memory, and then your fourth action would be to move into this, and then you'll do this or, next round. What if, I go, what if I go get this key first, because then I'd have three keys. We get that memory, then I come back this way, because this gets minus shroud for every key. So um, I have then, I, then I can, yeah, then you'll have three keys. Um, if you want, I can give you my key and then I can move over. Uh, no, I need to, if I'm going to kill this thing, I can't give you my key. Yeah, I'm like, you keep, we can always switch keys at a later date and sure. I give you the blue one and you give me the red. So then I could do this one. Sure, sure. And so, could, well, you actually, no, you would do this one and I could stay here or something so so that one just needs the blue key okay so then the plan is so then the plan should be um i'm gonna go uh, well cynthia are you wanting to kill this guy no so you change that okay so then yeah, i can with, without unexpected courage it's, it's... okay so yeah. then i'll go over here and my entire action is going to be to move and kill that thing Go for it. Yeah. That's so let's it. let's let's get that over with. So that's not inhibiting anybody's movement anymore. Um, Got to discard a card. Sure. Uh, sure. 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 Uh, okay. So you only need to do one damage to him. Well, I just need to but hit. Yeah, yeah, I need to hit. Yeah, I need to beat a four. I'm at a. Yeah. I'm at a right now. I'm at a seven on four. It's gonna be a yeah. tough one. This is gonna be tough. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, I'd use both. Yeah, use both actions. Do the two-handed. Yeah. yeah, this is Just seven on four. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I. I sorry. I knew. I knew it would be tough. Uh, Cynthia, if you want to come, take a whack at him. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't think I don't think I should. Can you shuffle that bag, please? Yep, yep. No, no. You, oh, you moved the wrong yeah. one over. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, here I go. Bag shuffled. Did you shuffle it? I okay. bag shuffled. So my last shriveling. Okay. Um. So what? How much damage did you do first? Or how, what's uh, your so what's your six? So that's a six on what? Four. Six on four, uh, minus two. So he's so dead. So that's good. So he's uh, dead. Cynthia, uh, however, you take uh, one horror, though. <laughs> yep. So he's dead. 
All right, so that's two actions. Cynthia, you might want to draw some cards. Oh, uh, that was three. One was move. move, two was attack. Two were move, one was attack. She was here. Oh, you were there. Never mind. Yep, so she's done. Oh, okay, so for me... Okay, go one. And then two to pop over here. Yeah, get that clue. All right, so we're definitely using the lock picks. Yeah. So that puts me at... On four. Ten. On four. So uh, ten to four. Yep. Is there any extra for this one? Nope, no extras. Just a straight ten to four. Okay. Ten on four. There we go. All right, good. Ten to five. Here's your clue. The Grab. There's your key. And we get our memory. Uh, flashback four. So flashback four. Let's go ahead and put this up. And I will read flashback four. Uh, flashback four. You stand before a terrible onyx statue in a dark, dingy basement. It smells of stale, dank air and rotting fish. The statue depicts a creature that is a hybrid of both fish and human, covered in hideous, misshapen scales. Grotesque gills and fins blend with tortured human fe features. Its large, round eyes glare at you. In the distance, you hear the faint chanting of some kind of ceremony. Ya nithle, ya nithle, the voices cry. Just as you begin to make out the strange syllables, a splash behind you catches your attention. You duck behind the onyx statue and wait patiently as several figures approach where you stood just moments before. You hold your breath. The gentle sloshing of their steps as they wade through the water passes and fades into the distance. You follow a brief you you allow a brief sigh of relief but begin to follow close behind. In the campaign log under memories recovered, record an encounter with a secret cult. Remove one of the weird heart-shaped tokens from the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. All right, so... I would want the memories. All right, so let's go in here, search. Why don't I see it in the bag? We've pulled them. Like, I don't They've been going... I don't see it in the bag. All right, okay, so... Yeah, I know... Something's okay, up. What's been going on with the tokens? Yeah, let me so let me know. go with the reserve. Let me go with the reserve. So there should be one tablet, right? And how much of those for yeah. the base game? There, I think there was two of each one. Okay. So we need a tablet, and we need one of the heart thing, the Got creature em. things. There we well, go. Well, don't put both creature things in because one just came out. No, I'm just I'm just taking it in order, oh. so it makes sense to me. That's all. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's like we did. We have. We pulled had. Them. We pulled them before, so I don't know what happened. But okay, so I've taken the two out. Now it ha it should have one shield and one elder thing, one tablet and one elder thing. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, there's supposed to be two cultists in the bag. Uh, two cultists. Yeah, I don't know. What's yeah, are there? Here. Check the. Uh, say search. Uh, there is one cultist in the bag. There are supposed to be two. Okay, so... Oh, uh, what in the world happened to the bag? That was weird. All right, so now we got two cultists in the bag. All right. Okay, cool. I don't know. We we checked it before and it was there, so weird. I don't maybe, know. maybe when we put the bless tokens in, it did something weird? It, like, got all wonky? Probably. Yeah, maybe... So from now on, well, we have to add those, and maybe we double check that the bag's looking right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. So that was one, two, three. So for four, we will move back over. Yeah, you're gonna head back to this thing, so you can swim so, all the way over here. <laughs> we will go there, and I won't take a horror because you I have a have key. key. Yeah. So I if you come, key. yeah, if you come here, so it'll be like one, two. Get the memory. Three, move four over here, and then we need the clues gone before she can get the memory. Uh, yeah, I need the clues gone. Okay. And for it on, so there's a like... special button to add and remove. Uh, remove blesses. Ah, here we go. Yep, you're right. Ah, uh, okay. Thank, thank you, Edgar. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks, Edgar. 
So right. just thinking for our next turn, what do we want to? I, so I wanna I wanna get here because stuff's getting weird. <laughs> I mean, we got time. We got time. Yeah. But um, you have to get that. Um, you're the only one that could get that green key, and you're the only one that could get this memory. Well, it's like I could give one of you guys the blue key, because that's all that's needed to get that. But I mean, but I give oh, that to me, it... and I can go do that. Okay. If yeah. I come to you and you and take it from you. So you'd have one, and, uh, two, one, three. Yeah. You would run out of action. She would have my, to spend action to give it to you. Well, my first action is I give it to her, and then I just then I head down here to do this. Okay, but then on her turn, she can on the next right. turn she can go to the underwater cave, which it takes her straight here. So yeah. I'm gonna reveal this. Well, that, that's that'll that's what I'll do. Oh, just like does it make sense to do that? Or does it make sense for me just to go there and do that? Uh, do do this. Cause how, I mean... Yeah. How about how about if you if you go get the green key? Let's see what happens when we trigger this, and then we can determine if we want that last memory. How about that? No. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Wait, sorry, I was just reading because this just gives us the green key, so it doesn't and, actually do anything. And matter of fact, we're making plans before the doom happens, so let's see what happens and then formulate a plan from there. So all right, okay. we're all we're all done. Enemies, nobody's there. So uh, flip everybody over and upkeep button. I got uh, Gret Wagner. Ooh, I like Gret Wagner. <laughs> Uh, you got Miss of Relier. Ooh, nice. Evade. And you got Trusty Bullwhip. <laughs> Which is nice, but I don't really want it right now. Yeah, but you, well, you've got the you've got the evade numbers just in case you need them. Yeah, I'm I'm not getting rid of the freaking lockpicks. We need the lockpicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um. We haven't revealed a location, so we it doesn't need to flood yet. Uh, Doom, and let's get our encounters. Okay, I got the deep one assault. Uh, so, so disengage from any there are no deep one enemies. So we're so going. Yeah, so we're going. I, I have a deep one. The encounter deck and discard pile. I have a deep one. Does that? count that's the thing like if we're if we're resolving i guess that's a rules one right if we're resolving well, that's what we've been doing because i'm like because mine resolves first okay so then yours would have to go then disengage from each deep one at your location connected with you if no enemies engage you for this search the encounter deck for a deep one uh so let me grab you one uh all right let me see what's what's something i can um there are none in the deck. There are none in the deck, so you got to go to the discard pile. Give me a little. Can we grab a little one? Something with uh, low health. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Um, the lowest one we got next is this guy. How much health is he? Yeah, that's Two. fine. Two. Yeah. So uh, he's engaged with you. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Come here. And shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. So that okay. is you. Then discard. And I take one damage. Fine. Alright, then we go to Cynthia, who says, Rising Tide, increase the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. It was the one I'm on. Yeah, we're uh, flooded. The one you guys are on. Yeah, we are flooded. Oh. And so that's that. So you can discard that. And then for me, I got a friend. And I take oh, a horror. Go. And I take a horror. Oh. That's all they keep hitting me with is this horror. They won't hit me. <laughs> oh, Kenji, yeah, can you... Wibbly. Yeah, I you, think... You were dealt damage from an enemy, so, yeah. Use your flesh ward. <laughs> then we... Okay. All right, sure. sure. Well, it, it's because the other time it wasn't from an enemy. It was from a treachery card. Okay, okay. So, sure, flush ward, done. Uh, and he's engaged with me. Okay, so now that we see the landscape of the board, now we can talk about what we want to do. 
Well, actually, quick question to Yogi. Does that count as an attack? Because uh, it just says take one horror. Uh, is engaged. Engage action. Yogi said no. Yogi says no. All right, so we can't use flash ward. Okay. So you do take that. Oof. You I, really need to find. <laughs> I I don't know. I, that's the thing. I I don't. I mean, I can't dig around in my deck when stuff keeps attacking yeah. me. So um, <sighs> this is bad. This it's is, not good. It's bad because when your turn begins, if you are at a fully flooded location, which we are, if we if we do not enter an unflooded or partially flooded location, yeah, I take five damage. So we cannot yeah, go. Yeah, we can't go to up or to the right. Okay, we might need to ignore these. I think I think so too. Because you're I gonna can... die. Yeah, my plan is to go to that last location. All right, so let me yeah. go. Let me go first and get this guy off me, right? Yeah. Um. So you need to do the two actions for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do. I gotta raise my chances a little bit more on this one, right? Um. Yeah, because you'd be well. You're at seven on three. I tell you what, I can do the one action. I can throw in vicious blow. And if I commit that... the wrench, if I commit the wrench, I get three more to fight. So that would be like it's. But I'm he a... has three health, Kanji. I know, I know, I know. So it would be five, right? Minus one, four, yeah. plus the uh, mechanic wrench, which is uh, five, six, seven, and then vicious blow would give me the plus one damage, plus one on here, plus one for the hit, which would kill him. Does that make sense? Uh, Does that yeah. make sense what I said? And, and it would only be one action, which means uh, we don't have to get hindered. But I don't know. Do you yeah. think it's ridiculous? So the only thing I'm thinking of is if you miss, okay. then you can't move away because he'll hit you for one horror. I'd, I'd rather you just straight out kill it and move it and move somewhere else so what happens if i draw the I'm auto fail it. what happens if i draw the auto fail what's the game plan cynthia has to kill it yeah but i can't move if i auto fail maybe so oh, that sucks and cynthia can't cynthia, kill also it. cynthia has no shriveling so that's why i was like i gotta go with the one action and just try to beef it so that if if perchance i fail oh. i can attack again and then move yeah. That's that's why yeah. I went all roundabout. Yeah, that's why I went very roundabout because if I do the two and I kill it, yeah. I can move everything's hunky dory. If I fail, then we got a problem. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. I think you gotta yeah, go for it. All right. So I'm going to just I'm going to use the sledgehammers to give me minus one, so I go to four. So I'm gonna walk this through. I'm then going to commit vicious. I'm, I'm going to commit vicious blow to give me plus one if I succeed, and then I'm going to commit the mechanics wrench to give me plus three, which puts me back at seven. Um, screw it. I'm gonna throw Greta to make it seven. eight. No, no, eight doesn't make a difference. Does eight? What's what's in the bag again? Do we gotta minus four? We, the most we have is minus four. You're at seven. Adding. Uh -huh. Putting yourself to eight doesn't make a difference. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Here we go. Crit. Oh. There we go. All right, so he's dead. And then, okay. and, and I still have two actions. Yeah, so get yourself to that last location that we don't see. Yeah, let me do that so Cynthia can determine what she wants to do on her turn. So one, two. Turn over, this uh, becomes... Sealed exit. Flooded. If an investigator at sealed exit controls the green key, resign. You unlock the gate, swim through the tunnel, return all your clues to the token pool, and place all of your keys on this location. After sealed exit is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Oh, oh are you no. Did I just die? No, just... you won't die. 
Yes, he will. Yes, I will. I just died. Oh, you won't. No, you won't. I started in a flooded location. I end my turn in a flooded location. You take five damage. And guess how much damage I have on me right now? Fleshford has one. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> you aren't dead yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not dead yet. So I'm, one, right. so I'm one away from dying. So, all right. We're just going straight for the exit We now. need to get out of here right <laughs> now. Uh, well, we need the green key. She's coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm go, coming. Go get the green key, Kate. Yes. Okay. So on your turn, do the thing. Oh. Okay, let me let me count something first. That takes one, two to get to there. You'll get here. And You'll get here, but you can't use your action, and you won't. And you won't take five damage. Three. Yep. There, but I have the enemy on me. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. Oh no. I'm counting. Can I take? I can't take the horror. So well, actually, can you... I can't. Then I have to get rid of Leo. So, no, I so evade him. Oh, oh, oh. I put down obfuscation. I can cancel the attacks of opportunity. Oh, do it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. I can do it three times. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. So go for it. All right. So take it with okay, you. Okay, so one. <laughs> move. All right, so I'll Two. pull. Yeah, pull them. I'll pull, pull them off. off. I'll pull yeah. off. Yeah. Two, we go here. Pull them off. And then you have an action to spend the clues um, and use that use that okay. key. So we have to spend six clues, which I've actually got on Yeah, me. so dump them all. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, Tabletop Simulator hates me. All right, so you do that, you get the green key. We and that was, that was an action, so that would be three, right? Three actions. So that was three. Okay, so obfuscation fired three times. <laughs> so that's done. So now for four. Evade okay, him. Move. Evade him. Move. Oh, yeah. Evade. evade him. Still got the dude. Yeah, but I can take the... I can, I can take another... You can take it. You... Damage. I'm, that's fine. Okay, so then, uh, so then, uh, okay, he's, yeah, gonna, so he's, he's gonna hit he's you gonna twice. Get, yeah, he's gonna get an attack as well, Kate. Yeah, so, well, then I might as well just try and kill him. I'm just, okay, I'm reading the end card. So if the investigator at the sealed exit controls the green key, resign, you must unlock the grate and swim through the tunnel to freedom, return all of your clues to the token pool and place all of your keys in this location. So... Is it just me that has to get there? You, you just have to get there to unlock it, and then we all need to get there to resign. If each surviving investigator has resigned. Yep. So basically, oh, you... Oh, so when we get there, we leave and we drop the key, so the next person yeah. gets to pick it up. Yeah. Yep. Well, then Cynthia can grab it from me on her turn. Yep. Or does that make no? Yeah. Does that uh, make sense? Well, no. I, I, no, no, it doesn't make sense because she still won't have enough actions. Correct. We're uh, all just gonna have to do it next turn. Okay, so what are you gonna do with this guy <coughs> though? Okay, I'm just thinking. So Kanji, you're not gonna die till the end of your next turn, right? Right. I'm going last so that I can get out and not die. Okay, so how about I will just try and get rid of this guy then? Okay, what you I mean? didn't start Because I didn't start in a fully flooded location. Right. So I'll, right. I'm fine to stay here. Uh -huh. So let's use my backstab. So I'm using my evade instead of my fight, and this will do plus two damage. So three damage, and your evade is five, so it's a five, right. on, so five on two. two. Yep. Do I have anything I want to add to this? Because I'm not using any of my other cards. You got your bull whip that has a question mark. Oh, it yeah. boosts it boosts your evade. It uses your yeah, evade to boost your evade. Yeah, because I'm using 
this attack uses evade, so let's just use something that has evade. The bullwhip does. It has it has like three. <laughs> well, that's got the wild icon though. Again, I only need to be up by four. Okay. Do okay. it. So but you got well, eavesdrop. Let's just, yeah. of, let's just get rid of field work. Okay. That's all that. All right. So you're at so what, six? six two. Yep. Yep. There you go. And we're good. All right. So and he's, he's dead. Gone. Yep. All right. All right, and that's me. Yep, and you don't take any pain. No. So I'm just going to move. Yeah, uh, just get yourself. I'm going to move. We, we do. Move. I think that's as far as you can go. Why are you, why are you going that because way? Because she started in a flooded space. If she goes anywhere else, she's going to oh, suffer yeah. five damage. Yep. Suffer five. And yeah. then take I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Yeah. And that's me done. Okay. Okay. All right. Resource card. Resource card. Resource or card for Monterey. Uh, I don't need the resources, so I'm grabbing the card. Okay. Just for the extra icons. Tennessee Sour Mash. See, you would have been useful way earlier. I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, so this is where it gets real. All right, so here we go. Right. So, so no, upkeep enemies, first. no enemies, so upkeep, flip us back all over, and then hit the upkeep button. Ooh, I got oh, lucky. Oh, come on. I got lucky. Really? Ooh, 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 I got lucky. Okay. Um. All right. Hold on. What's up? Okay, I got my other weakness. Revelation put it into play in my threat area. My location can be investigated. You cannot move except by scenario effects. Investigate if you succeed instead of discovering clues. Discard this. If I fail, I take two horror. Yeah, but there's no clues in your location, right? Yeah, she has to do it as an but If I your location can, can be... Can, if your location... But it can still be investigated. Why? I, I can still do it and move. Yeah, but that just, sounds, that just sounds weird to me. It's like, if it can be investigated, but it can't. There's no clues. Like, you see, you see what I mean? Like, to me, that says yeah, no, no. if there are clues, Closer. you have to. Yeah. Yeah, I actually read it the same way. Yeah, except like for just little, little me knows that, like, sometimes you, because you can investigate locations without clues. For what it's like, purpose? Like, well, for one thing, I have a card that does that, that gets me resources so, instead of clues. But... Okay. Thematically, but I don't, yeah. Yeah, thematically, thematically he's, yeah, not probably. he's not going to leave until he investigates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even, even still, I have four actions. I can deal with this. That's fine. Okay. 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 Even, um, even if I fail, I just take two horror and then it's gone. Okay. Okay. So it's like, I, I got the time to deal with that. So let's so. get our encounters. You moved up the doom yeah. track? Yeah, I moved the doom track. Yeah. So what you get? You got Riptide. If your location's unflooded, Riptide gains surge. It is not. It is flooded. Otherwise, you need Otherwise, to test four because it's fully flooded. I failed to discard an X. Okay. So well, do your test. Right. Yeah, so do your Let's test. Let's put... So I am at... A five on four. Five on four. So let's make it... Let's put in the trusty bullwhip and make it eight on four. Okay. Uh, this is different. This is different. Um, minus three. So pass you, you pass it. Yep, so you pass it. Yep. So right. ditch that. Then we go down to Cynthia from the depths. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So it's coming to you. Yep. Engaged with me. Okay. Oh, that's not good. And then uh, I hey, got... Hold, hold, hold. Oh, no, I don't have a key. It's fine. Yep, you don't have a key. Yeah, but... So... I have no way to fight him, but, you know. Yeah. Uh... You can evade him, Cynthia. You have unexpected courage. And you have... Miss. I do, I'm, but I'm I don't have any play. I may be dead. Oh, I can, though. Oh. You, just, you just use the... Yeah. Just use the icons. Um... Um, I may be dead, but we're going to find out. So first, I'm going to commit Greta to this. Yeah. So that gets me to a two. 
and then I will use Lucky, um, for sure. <laughs> use, use whatever you have. <laughs> All right, so if I fail, if I fail, I get a plus two to my skill check. So right now I'm at two, and I need three. Damn, <laughs> I'm dead. I fell. You're dead. Yep, I'm uh, out. So I am Goodness Dexter. Did that kill you by Kanji? Is that you take Stop two damage? Key. Yeah. Yep. And I dropped my key. key. Yeah. I dropped my key here. Okay. Oh crap on stick. Okay. Well Okay, that's a thing. At least it was yeah, your damage. Yeah, yeah. And, and your clues technically get dropped there, too. Okay, yep. I'm not just going to say that doesn't have any effect. All right, so I, I have no say in the outcome of this event. Go for it. <laughs> so, Kate. yeah, Kate's got to go first. I'll She's got to open the grate. Yep. Yeah, because I have the grate. All right, so. Deal with this uh, weakness first, I guess. Yeah, so I, I oh, it's gonna be another turn. Oh what's happening? I heard something click. Oh. What just happened? Huh? No, go, go. Uh, okay. Oh shit. There's there's clues on this location now. Mm. It's uh if you if you succeed, instead of discovering clues, discard buried secrets. So you would get rid of buried secrets. Why do you need the key? No, no, Cynthia can't pick up the key because there's clues on the sealed exit. Why Can does she up... need the key? The blue key. The green key to get oh. out. One of us has to get out of here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I, I can get out. That's not a problem. <laughs> I think at this point, I think at this point, one of us has to get out. It doesn't okay, matter. What, what are the rules for picking up keys? Does the location there can't be clues? There can't be clues. There cannot be clues, and it's an action to pick it up. Yep. Okay, Cynthia, you're not dead if you can not go into a flooded location. So that means I have to get the stupid clues off of here. She she won't be dead because she's in a shallow location. She can actually move to this flooded location and be fine for this round. Yeah, she's fine, but then she has to get the clues. We have to get the clues off. Okay, how many actions? I got four actions. Okay, let's do... Okay, what's the shroud up there? That's five. Of course it's five, because that's what this is. <laughs> All right. So what am I... So this is just a three. So we're just going to do a regular investigate. So I am at five to three. So, all right. I fail, but I can take two horror to shuffle this back into my deck. That's fine. And then it's gone. Okay, so that's action one. Second action is to move here. Okay, so if you have... So it says as an action, you would... As an action, you can... Uh, Third action is I can get try and get one of the keys, the clues off. Okay. So we're going to use the lockpick for this. Yep. So that's uh, 10 to 5. Yep. Okay. So we did that. All right. So then the my fourth action is I have to resign. Yep. So, All right, so, you, so you resign. Um, oh, but, well, oh, I'm curious. On, but I, no, but then me taking the clue didn't help anyway. Shit. Well, oh, because you're going to drop it back. Yeah. I'm going to drop it back anyway, so hold on. Oh, I want to see where it says if 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 an investigator at sealed location controls the green key, resign. You unlock the gate. Return all of your clues to the token bag. No, return all your oh, clues to the token no. pool and place all your keys oh, on that location when you reside. Oh. So, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. So that one will get rid of it, but there's still one there. Which is fine. Can she you... can go for the one. What's up? No, no, I can't. 
Okay. I can. Okay. It's fine. All right. So you'll resign. So I'll resign. All your keys drop. This goes there. And the clue goes back to the token pool. Yeah, the clue's back into the token right. pool. Cool, cool. That that goes away. All right. So okay. now it there is... Go. go for it. Okay. Oh. I'm going to use Dexter's ability mm -hmm. to swap out shriveling uh -huh. for Miss Silverlay. For evade, okay. There you go. I'm going to spend a charge to evade little nice person um using is that an auto evade six no oh, it's an action but using so it's six on, oh. two. on two so you're at five i'm at six on two six on two uh, uh that is minus two so okay, you're you, good you're good so he is evaded okay i am but i have to discard that's Okay. That's fine. Okay. Then you get to okay. move to a connecting location, right? Yep. Do I? So that's free, I think. What gives it free? Um, you got the. Yeah. That gives okay. you. So that's yep. one. So, so two still is one move. action. Two is move. All right. So you got to try and get that clue off. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So three, you've got yeah. you've got unexpected courage. You've got that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. It only puts it's, her I'm at be four and five. five. <laughs> but Cynthia, maybe just okay. It doesn't even matter because this will still be your third action, so you can't yeah. get out this round anyway. Yep. You but won't take the damage till the end of next round. So just draw a card. Just draw a card. You, okay. Just draw a card. See if you okay. can grab something yeah, else. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Investigate. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Ooh. Okay. Okay, didn't help, but maybe <laughs> your upkeep card will be. <laughs> uh, Yogi, okay. she she wasn't two locations away. She started here, and when she used a miss, when she used the yeah. miss, she got a free move, and then yeah, she spent move. one action to move here. So it was one to evade, free move, one to move, and then one to draw a card, which is three. So nope, she's good. All right, so uh, that ends your turn. You're the only one there. So um, click your upkeep button. That guy ready. That guy's ready. Click your upkeep button. All right. What'd you get? No. Uh, Robes of Endless Night. Uh, no, that doesn't help either. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, goodness. And Gosh. then Swarm of Rats comes into play engaged with you. Okay. They just ignore the rats. They they only hurt you a little bit. So, <laughs> all right. So you got three actions. So you need one oh, wait, to wait, resolve. Wait. I didn't move up. Doom. Boom. Doom's at four. Okay. Okay. So you need one to resign. Picking up the key is a fast action. So you uh, have two actions. No, it's not. Is picking up the key not a fast picking action? Up the key is a when fast an investigator, action. nope. When an investigator takes control of a key, they flip it face up and place it in the investigator. If an investigator who could, uh, da, da, da. oh, you're right, you're right. Trading is an action. Yep, you are right. Sorry. So, okay, there's what's your elder sign ability plus two. So you need a five. So. <laughs> Pick up the key okay, and be out. Just take the two okay. damage. <laughs> she can't, though. She can't pick up the key. Because she needs to get rid of that other clue. That's the problem. Oh, oh, oof. Okay. So. You basically... Okay. So it's a five. <laughs> so, okay, we got two options. We can either do... Two attempt tests at the investigate, one with the unexpected courage, because then you only need a plus one or the elder sign, which is not great odds. <laughs> the second one basically said the second one pretty much won't work. Yeah. Or as Yogi is saying, like Yogi's, draw, a card, yeah, draw a card and, card and then try. Don't click upkeep. Yeah. Don't click upkeep. Upkeep will give you a resource. Yeah, so. 
What is it? Oh, what is your? Add five curses uh, to the chaos bag. We don't care. That's okay. We can. Okay, that's not great. All right, that's so let's do this. Really... So one, two, mm. three, four, five. Five added right. to the chaos bag. Well, let's let's verify. Five in the chaos bag. Everything still looks good. Everything's still in order. We got our two or one or one. We're good. Okay. So shuffle. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, come on. Come Action on. number two. Oh, oh, there it is. And you have to draw another one. So let's do this. Draw another one. Oh, so that's minus two. It's minus two. It doesn't matter. And then minus four. <laughs> so, uh, the rat, so the rat's going to bite you. So for the, the rat's going to bite her. Twice? One for the card draw. Well, yeah. yeah, one for the card draw. And, and one, one for the that. fail. Yep. And I'm then punch. Cynthia the rat. <laughs> punch the rat. <laughs> and then, yeah, you might as well punch the rat. <laughs> uh, uh, that exactly. is uh, minus three. If you fail in the amalgamous in the depth, put it in the playing game with you. So you fail. And you, drown, and you drown. And you drown. And you drown. <laughs> That's why I was like, I, one of us has to get out of here. Okay, so you you escaped out. I so, made it out. So, so let's see let's see what happens. So uh, let's proceed to resolutions. Uh, oh my god. All right. Andy, so if only you hadn't died and dropped clues. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I got the word. Like it kept hitting my sanity instead of like damage, which sucked. Thank you. Uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Brian. <laughs> That's why I have to tell Brian. Shut up, Brian. All right, so... Um, but did we... So let's see what happened here. So you resigned. There may be a way out of here. Advance. So let's flip it over. Uh, the tunnel continues onward with no end in sight. Your lungs heave with pain. You have held your breath for longer than you ever thought possible. <laughs> um... Uh, for a moment, you wonder if you should turn back, but by now the entire cavern must be completely submerged. Even if it weren't, you couldn't hope to outlast the creatures to dwell inside for very long. No, there is no going back. Your only hope is to press forward. Another minute passes. The current seems to grow stronger as the tunnel narrows ahead. Your chest feels as though it is about to burst. Finally, you emerge from the ice-cold seawater and tumble out of the cavern, landing hard on a rocky shore. Resolution 1. Okay, so let's talk about resolution one. I'm going to switch our scene here to this. Oh, oh. All things you had to take damage. <laughs> so resolution one, here we go. Um, so it says, and we'll do resolution one happen. Continue. Uh, okay, so resolution one. In the distance, the sky, the sky is dark crimson, and the moon. The full moon hangs just below the blackened sun. You are about to close your eyes and surrender to unconsciousness when a stranger's voice startles you back to your feet. Oh, you're alive? Even through her strained voice, you can hear a rhythmic Indian accent and the unwavering confidence of a trained professional. Standing in front of you is a woman with long raven black hair. Her tattered trench coat has seen better days and bruises splash across her dirt-covered skin. You seem confused. Why are you looking at me like that? The strange woman asks. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory display. Record this experience under unspent experience in the campaign log, but do not spend any of it yet. Big bold. You will be instructed to spend this experience at a later time. Proceed to interlude one puzzle pieces. All right, so, oh, we've got a lot. Okay, so let me take care of this. So Monterey Jack resigned. I was defeated by physical trauma. And um, Dexter, what were you defeated by? Physical. physical trauma. Okay, so we got resigned, physical trauma, physical trauma. Okay, so resolution one. Did we get any victory points no, at all? I don't think so. I'm just double checking our cards in the... No, nothing no. had victory on it. Okay, so continue. We did, but we didn't clear them. Okay, so this says adjust yeah. scenario XP and trauma. 
The numbers below already include all the trauma victory points and story assets you may have earned during the resolution. Okay, so nothing else is... We didn't get any extra victory points or physical... Oh, wait, Dexter has one, right? Because of your... Dexter has a physical and a mental trauma. Okay. Got that updated. That's from his card. Yep, yep. And... Need to save that. Save you. And save me. And then we continue. Proceed to interlude puzzle piece one. Okay, so here we go. You oh, this this app will do it all for us, so I know exactly where to read. Alright, cool. We've got our stuff there. Alright, here we go. You have no idea who this woman is or how she knows you. You set you yet she seems comfortable and familiar with you. You strain your memory trying to think of how you might have met, but it's no use. You're certain she is a complete stranger. Having woken up in a cold, wet prison with no memories, you aren't feeling very sociable. Your fear and distrust must show because the woman backs off and narrows her eyes. What is the? What is it? What's wrong? You respond by asking the woman if you know her. You truly don't remember. Well, that's going to complicate things. What do you recall? Do you remember anything? You relate uh, to the woman the flashes of recollection that you experienced earlier. Earlier. Check the memories recovered section of the log, read each of the sections below that apply to your situation and proceed. Okay, so we've got if a meeting with Thomas Dawson is recovered, which we did, we got to check on that one. Um, you put two and two together and ask if the woman is Miss Harper. Ah, so you do remember me, uh, she asked with a playful smirk, but you shake your head in response and explain that you're only... You only remember being hired by a man named Thomas Dawson to find her. But that was... Oh. You have, a f you have forgotten a lot, haven't you? Speaking of Dawson, where is he? Did you see him down there? Your truth turns to twist the Your thoughts turn to the twisted, mangled face that triggered your flashback. Agent Harper's expression turns dour as she watches your eyes. I see. I wish he hadn't come to this forsaken town. Those brutes are going to pay for this. You ask who she thinks is responsible for Dawson's death, and she raises her eyebrows in response. Right, you don't remember. As far as I know, the last time anybody saw either of you was just before you visited the esoteric Order of Dagon. Draw your own conclusions. The conspiracy deepens. Each investigator records one additional experience on their unspent experience. Alright, so... Um... How much did we not get? We didn't get any XP from cards. So. No, 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 not the XP. Sorry, I'm, uh, memories, memories. Uh, we found three memories. Decision to stick together, a meeting with Thomas Dawson, and an encounter with a secret cult. Okay, so if a battle was with a horrifying devil, we didn't get that. A decision to stick together, we did get. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we read... So you. All right, so we got, so you and Dawson were looking for me together then. Interesting. She considers this for a moment. I guess even the, extra, uh, the extraordinary Captain Dawson can be rattled from time to time. It's somewhat gratifying to know he cared that much about finding me. Still. Her gaze wanders towards the horizon. All right, Dawson. I'll make sure you didn't die in vain, but I'll burn this whole town to the ground if I have to. The conspiracy deepens. Each investigator records one additional experience on their own spent. And then we've got the secret cult. Oh, we've got a couple more. Okay. So then we got the secret cult. Uh, which is here. So then we got secret cult. You describe your memory from inside some kind of cult headquarters. Sounds like that must have taken place inside the esoteric order of Dagon. Building on the north side of t the building on the north side of town. Agent Harper reasons that organization is vile. I just know it. I have no evidence to bring back, though. And it sounds like you've forgotten everything you've learned. She curses under her breath. We get another unspent experience point. Okay. Then it says pr proceed to scenario two: the vanishing of Elena Harper. All right. So what's is that more, or is that... Okay, I scenario two is the next one. Scenario two is the next one. Yep, yep. Okay, scenario two is the next one. 
All right, so we'll stop there and we start with, and just to make sure, let me check the TTS uh, thing. We come up here. Oh, so we didn't yep. any yep. other XP from the scenario? We got oh, three. That's... Yeah, we just got three. Oh, that's harsh. So <laughs> the next, so the next one we'll be playing is the Vanishing of Elena Harper, which is the next scenario two in this two, four, six, eight scenario, uh, Innsmouth stuff. So cool, cool. What did y'all think? I was. Great. I did enjoy that. That was fun. The, oh, yeah. the different mechanics were kind of nice. <laughs> the flooding wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, like three auto auto fails. That hurt. Yeah. Three was... three auto fails after drawing the bless. <laughs> <laughs> That like, really? reminds me of some Gloomhaven streams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of one particular Gloomhaven stream. Yeah. Uh, so, so um, we, so we didn't find one memory. That was it, right? That's not yeah. bad. And I think of the victory di displays that we had. There was only two victory points to be had by location, and that was the one with the most clues. Yeah. So, not. I, I don't think this was bad. I we yeah. we succeeded. That's what's important. We succeeded. So oh, you think this is one where we spend XP at different times too, but it isn't after every scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I... no spoolers, Yogi. No spoolers, but yeah, yeah. So it says to do that. So, so are we not allowed to spend them at the moment? Correct. Correct. We are not allowed to spend them right now. It, it said do not spend them. It will let us know when to spend. Okay. So, but we have removed an elder thing and a tablet from the campaign. Okay. We did remove two bad tokens from the bag. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I need to make a note of that because when we come back and play this next, I want to make sure to pull those two out. Um, yeah, I, the I, app will yeah, remind you. Okay, the yeah, app will I've, remind me? Okay. And I've been taking my own set of notes just Sweet. as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that is pretty much it for... In, for the first scenario of Innsmouth Conspiracy, I like how it opened up. I really did. I thought this was pretty incredible. Um, yeah, that was definitely horrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and of course, the, the two locations we need to go to find stuff are the, like, at the end of both sides of the board. It's like, yeah. really? <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, and, and I am super curious, like, even even the thing of you start off, you're not in town, right? You're you're captured and you have to get out. So now we need to find out what's going on in the town as this cult of Dagon is, is summoning Dagon, which I think this is good. I, I think this is going to be a fun scenario. This is going to be a fun cycle. It's kind of cool. We know nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're kind of figuring it out at the same time as the investigators instead of we kind of start with oh there's weird crap going on and we're coming to investigate we know absolutely nothing <laughs> we woke up in a flooded cave <laughs> <laughs> yeah and this will this will be this will be really really good i'm 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 very stoked for this so the plan is since this is the month of horror the plan is to play this game this is going to be the sunday game as we play now this can, will obviously exceed the month of horror, right? But if um, Kate and Cynthia are available and still interested, we could just keep going until we beat this thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good. So we'll play through this. I'll just get the rest scheduled. I just wanted to hold off because I didn't know what was going to be next. And since we fail for it, I'll just build out all of the streams for this. And if I have to switch something, I can switch it. But I'll build these out. Um, and schedule them for the same time next Sunday and Sunday afterwards. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is one annoying, I guess, spoilery. Yeah, no, stop spoiling stuff, Yogi. <laughs> stop it. So, um, I don't want any spoilers for this stuff. So what's coming up? Um, for me... Tuesday is going to be the continued Marvel United crossover campaign, which is the lunchtime stream. And then I'll be playing Zombicide Black Plague. I'm going to grab one of the um, scenarios that was created on the command site as part of their like weekly uh, scenario sets. So it'll be a new thing. And I'll be playing with all six characters and probably trying not die. Um, so that's Tuesday. Thursday is Nemesis Lockdown that I'll be playing with Steve and Baron and possibly Pac-Man. 
on Tabletop Simulator. I've scheduled that one as well. Then Friday is going to be a nice treat. Friday, uh, Kate and Cynthia and I are going to be playing Eldritch Horror <laughs> instead of Gloomhaven. So we usually do Gloomhaven Friday, but we're going to be playing Eldritch Horror. Um, you know, Cynthia, Cynthia, we're going to let Cynthia pick the scenario. Muha, muha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> and, and see and see what we see what we come up with so that'll be um friday then um saturday i'm gonna be having my one-stop co-op shop chat and then sunday we'll be back to this and more and more and more things to come i've already scheduled those sworn and all this other stuff because i've got all the minis painted um fighting a undead rat seems pretty scary to me so that that fits into the month of horror but we've got a lot of stuff coming up um Cynthia, Kate, thank you so much for joining me today for this. This is this has been an absolute blast. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Yeah, and um, definitely, Kate, if you want to do decks, if you want to shift anything, I leave that up to you. I'm not, you know, that's you're you're the pro. Oh, yeah, Yogi's saying that we probably will spend the XP before the second mission, so I'll look up options for us. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, my Patreons, my YouTube subscribers. And if you're neither, just coming to hang out on a gloom, on a, I said Gloomhaven, on an Arkham Sunday. <laughs> on a Sunday in Arkham. Uh, thank you so much for joining. And I appreciate you all. Insert Connor slogan here. Bye, everybody. And we're out. Wow, that was, that was insane. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs>I, I, I gotta see, let me spread this. What else do I have? So, I got a Blessed Blade. What helps me heal? Hallowed Mirror, the Hallowed Mirror. I'm adding blessed tokens to the bag like crazy. <laughs> Did you spread them all out? Let's spread them all out and see. Uh, sp uh. Okay, 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 okay. So, I I think I think we played it well. Like you were handling the clues pretty fairly. Is there any way for you to get more than one clue with an ability? Yeah. And I'm spreading them out. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, this is... <laughs> so... All right, are you going to add... Are you going to add the other basic weaknesses into the decks? Um... Okay. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well.
Okay. I gotta tell- I gotta tell you, if this scenario, like I looked at, it says horror in high gear and there's a car. My thing is, if this scenario has any driving road thing like how we did with the train in Dunwich, I will love this more. Like the Dunwich, the Dunwich train thing, I love that entire scenario. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, this was but this was a blast, y'all. I God. I missed Arkham Horror. This is so much fun. So we'll we'll get to uncover what happens in the next scenario and uh, <laughs> so I will spend it. <laughs>